Bam! Timer has started. All right, let's start this chat. So first things first, let's grab the Sheikah Slate, shall we? So we are off on the Breath of the Wild randomizer. There's going to be a lot of awesome stuff that you guys have been seeing throughout this of new features as well as old features. Uh, this is pretty much close to the first official launch of this randomizer. So I think it's going to be really exciting and there's a lot of changes that you guys will see throughout it uh, compared to the vanilla game. So... Uh, let's start off, shall we? Alright, well, first of all, let's check one main thing. So, I just got the Sheikah Slate. Now, if I open up my minus menu, and I go left here, you will see that I immediately start with the camera. That's right, we immediately start with the camera, because... In this randomizer, you obviously want to start looking for chests. And it is very important to have the camera because that allows you to actually search with the Sheikah sensor. So having the camera when you start the game is going to be very essential for this randomizer. So you can immediately access it by pressing the minus button. Let's start off continuing. We're going to get the climbing boots. <laughs> And a spirit orb. Interesting. So, uh, let's just say that for now, um, all I'm gonna say is that, uh, spirit orbs are not access from beating shrines anymore. Uh, it, it's been, uh, it's been changed a little bit. Uh, you will see throughout this randomizer that, uh, uh, there's been some changes made to that whole system. Alrighty, beautiful. Beautiful world, huh? Yeah, it is about to get very, very messed up. Alright. Wait, where's the old man? That's strange. The old man isn't there anymore, huh? I wonder where he went. That's kind of strange. Huh. A savage Lionel sword. Alright. Already some changes over here. <laughs> um, couple of sunshrooms here. Uh, a hearty big truffle. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of changes. So, uh, let's just continue forward uh, with this. But before we continue, actually, there's one quick thing I want to do. Cut. That's a cut in the YouTube video, by the way. I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys. Hold on. I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys. Crap, wait, what is it called? Melon, do you know what it's called if you can DM me what it's called? I thought it would be under S. Oh, you already DM me? Oh! All right, let's see if that worked. Yeah, 
And... Did not work. Huh? Excuse me? Let's try that again. I might not be able to show you guys that it's not actually part of the randomizer. It was more just a fun thing for the stream. Wait, why is there a glitched out HUD in the top right corner from the save screen? Oh, uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna continue. All right, I wanted to show you guys something cool, but I actually can't. So hopefully, I'll find it legitimately. I, I, I okay. I'll tell you guys. Okay, I'll tell you guys right now. Uh, the reason I wanted to show you guys was I actually made a custom skin for one of the shorts in the game uh, That would be like a funny meme for the stream. It's not part of the randomizer So I just wanted to edit the value of the Alex climbing boots that we obtained to that shirt So that I could actually be wearing that shirt because the odds of me finding that exact shirt is low I'm just gonna continue playing for now and hope you find it legitimately But the odds are very slim to none so I might not be able to showcase it But anyways, let's continue and also just make a let's just make a cut. Let's just pretend that didn't happen um, Ali. Anyways, let's continue. Okay, we're just gonna pick up some random fruit around here and continue as we go. So let's just continue here. We got a spiked boko bad. Sounds good. All right, let's continue here. All right, I think I'm immediately gonna, before I run to the tower, I think I'm immediately gonna run over here, and I'm going to be picking up the chest over here. Don't kill me. <laughs> I do not have the equipment to, uh, to get wrecked right now. All right. Stealth tights. Wow, this game really wants me to wear pants. Jeez, okay, fine. I will wear pants. <laughs> Alright, we're going to continue here. Uh, and we're going to continue all the way over to the tower. Another thing you're going to notice too is that... You know how normally there's a couple of just arrows here? Well, they have been randomized to be any single category. But, unlike beta versions that some of you guys might have seen if you're watching this on a Twitch stream, you will see that all of these are singles now, because it actually looks at the category of which type of arrow that was normally on the ground, and it uses those now. And, uh, that is actually light arrows. So, yeah, so enemies can actually use light arrows now as well. Forgot to mention that little part. Uh, so yeah, you can get absolutely destroyed by a couple of enemies because they can use light arrows. Um, so yeah, um, it's just one of the few things that, um, has been randomized. Alright, we're gonna race the tower immediately to get a map because we are going to have to start, uh, going free bear mode and looking around for some stuff. All right, now, for anyone who has actually played Breath of the Wild, I have a little question for you guys. What is the first thing that happens after you jump out or jump down from the Great Plateau Tower? What's the first thing that should happen once you jump down here? You're supposed to get the old man. That is indeed correct. Now... Let's jump down from the tower, and, uh, let's see what happens, shall we? Huh. 
There is no old man here. Uh, that is because the worst part of every single Breath of the Wild run is the Great Plateau. So, the old man no longer exists in the randomizer, which means that you do not have to complete all four shrines and go through the Great Plateau the same way that you might have experienced it if you have played this game before in either a speedrun or a casual playthrough. Because the paraglider is actually placed randomly in one of the chests around the Great Plateau. So, you do not have to complete all the four shrines. Instead, you just have to look around for all of the chests around the Great Plateau, and one of them will have the paraglider. And the second you find it, you immediately have access to the entire world. Not only that, but multiple things have been sped up. So for example, when I want to unlock a rune right here, if you know this cutscene by heart, you will know how it normally should be played like, right? Well, here, after I do this text, immediate drop, and you immediately get it. This cutscene already is shortened by about 10-15 seconds, so each one of these have also been shortened, so the cutscene is much quicker. This is so cool, you guys are legends packing. Now, if we continue here, you guys remember that when I first talked about the uh, about the Breath of the Wild randomizer during development. By the way, you might notice that um, his head looks a little bit scuffed. But anyways, um, let's pretend that he's normal. But anyway, so uh, you will remember that the very oh my god, this one is so strong compared to the original one. This is a test of strength, Guardian, bro. Okay, don't hit me again. Jesus Christ, he's strong. Anyways, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, take two. Let's try again. <laughs> By the way, Ali, keep that one and then take two with a cut here until I get back to this part. I think that would be funny for the YouTube video. So just keep that and then when I say cut two, just cut until when I re-enter here now. Can I push him down? Dude. A test of strength guardian here is unfair. Okay. There we go. <laughs> you know what? Let's pick up the parts. Alright, so. The very first time I showcased the Breath of the Wild Rando, like I said... There was not any changes in the shrines, but you can already tell there are changes in the shrines in terms of enemies. But not only that, a big request from people was that the chest inside of the shrines would also be randomized. And I'm happy to announce they have been randomized. A royal guardian bow from the very first shrine chest. That is not what you would normally get. So with that, let's, uh, let's complete the shrine, shall we? All right. Wait, I didn't, huh? Yeah, so as you can see, I didn't get anything for beating the shrine. That is because of the fact that since there's a randomization going on, uh, you don't actually get spirit orbs from beating uh, shrines. Because on the first time when we were testing this randomizer, we noticed that every randomizer would follow the same trend. Just uh, just do a you know just do a bomb impact launch to skip every single shrine to get some hearts and you know then just rush to the dungeon so to change up the gameplay we pretty much made it so that just doing the same thing every single rando which is just skipping shrines and dungeons is no longer a thing so uh, you can see right there we did literally got nothing from beating that shrine so with that being said let's continue and uh, let's see what we find star fragment. I guess this is a YouTube video. I think I'm gonna mute the alerts, but I'll have the mute on. Uh, th uh, uh, the alerts, sorry. Uh, but thank you so much, Chaos, for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. At least you got one little pet the link is in before I mute them. 
There we go. All right. Let's open this chest up. Luminous stones. Amber. Why did the spirit orb count go up then? Well, as you can see, I have one spirit orb, and that was not actually from beating the shrine. That was because I found one in my second chest when I started the playthrough of this. So it just showed how many I have. Because uh, I have legitimately found uh, one of the spirit orbs. Aw, uh, crap. I can't actually access these. Shit. Target with sensor. Target with sensor plus. So as you can see, a lot of people might not know where all the chests are located. So to help out to not have to use a map... Since you start with the camera plus and the actual Sheikah sensor, the second you pick up the Sheikah slate, that means that you don't have to go through this super tedious process of having a map up constantly while you are looking for things. You can actually search for them, which is going to be really good. Now, I actually know by heart where all of the chests are on the Great Plateau, so because I don't want to hear the beeping the entire stream, I'm actually going to disable it for now. Uh, sorry about that in advance. Um, but, um, but yeah, that is something that you can do. Uh, also, when it comes to finding the, uh, paraglider on the Great Plateau, I want to make it very clear that even though I said that all the chests on the Great Plateau can have the paraglider, the Boko camps that require you to defeat all of the enemies to pick up their chests, those are not part of the chests. Because if you get really unlucky, you can get some redonkulous enemies in these camps. I mean, already right here. I do not have the equipment to fight these enemies right here. You can get a gold graded, you know, lizard if you're unlucky. So because it would be so bad to have to fight those with poor equipment, those are not required. Uh, thankfully, I should say. Shit, I don't have stamina food. Can I make this climb even? Climbing gear does not make you climb any longer. It actually takes faster stamina, but you climb faster. So you don't actually climb any faster than without it. Yay, we got arrows! <laughs> I think those specific enemies looked fair to fight, though. Yeah, but that's because we got lucky on that Boko camp. If you continue watching this rando, you will understand why we do not force the player to fight every single enemy that you stumble upon on the Great Plateau. Because trust me when I say that, you can get really rolled. Really, really rolled. How many chests are there in the Great Plateau in part of the logic? Hey, another spirit orb. That's good. Uh, let me actually count. Because I actually manually... Counted through all the uh, through all the memory addresses. Let's see here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-two. Thirty-two total chests on the Great Plateau, and one of them is guaranteed to have the paraglider. So it is not too bad. I need some... I need some food. Also, one thing that a lot of people... Actually, wait, because I want to ma match it up with the gameplay, uh, I'm actually going to wait to mention this fact until I reach the, the next chest. I'm 
pretty sure that a crowd control randomizer would be feasible. I don't see why it would cause an issue unless a graphics pack causes a major issue, but I don't think it would. I think it would work because of how it's made. Shit. Oh my god! Whew. Clutch. Fire arrows, okay. Uh, the chest up there should be a Boca chest camp, so I don't need that. There are two chests right here. So, this is a question that I saw multiple times when I bug tested this the other stream. So, you see these, uh, these chests right here that can actually be broken? I got a lot of questions about what happens if an enemy breaks those chests. I'm glad that you asked. So, if you're playing a randomizer and an enemy accidentally breaks this and you don't see a drop, which meaning that it wasn't a drop that could officially be dropped on the ground, you can just save and reload the save file. So let's say that I have a spirit orb in there. A spirit orb cannot physically be placed onto the ground. So if you don't see something being dropped, like arrows or something like that, right, when it's broken, just simply do a save and reload of the file and it will immediately respawn whatever that chest was supposed to contain. So it does not just disappear from the game. So there's no way of being locked out of anything. So that's a really nice thing. Because, I mean, yeah, imagine if that was, for example, like the paraglider and you got a bad luck. That would suck. Alright, I hope I don't get killed here. Oh god. Oh god. I might get shot in the back here. Oh. Please don't hit me. How do I still not have a shield? I really want a shield for shield jumps. This sucks. This is stinky. And I also don't have any clothes other than pants, so I can't deal with the cold. Man, then. I'll wait to continue doing this, actually. I'll do... I'm gonna go back to the tower, and I'll do these areas over here instead, for now. Actually, there's a couple of chests I can super easily quickly get here in the forest area. Let me grab that quickly. Okay, do not fail this, Linkus. Okay. Whew. Alrighty. Alright, let's go over here. Also, you might notice that there's a talus here. Uh, believe it or not, we actually got lucky that this is a talus, because every single overworld enemy can be randomized to any other overworld enemy. So, just because this was a talus and the normal game has a talus here, does not mean that when you play the game, you might get a talus here. This could have been any sort of overworld boss. It could have been a Hinox, it could have been uh, an ice talus, it could be a fire talus, it could be any sort of talus. Also, I died. Oh, okay, Melon, that was changed, okay. Ganon mod check? Yeah, the T-posting was a big thing in the first version. Dude! Dude! Alright. Holy shit, those drops! Those drops you usually would never see on the Great Plateau. Usually this one only drops like Amber, Opal, and you can have chance at Rubies. <laughs> Not Sapphires or Diamonds. Holy shit. 
Yeah, Flint too. That is some good drops. Do I have any bomb barrels? I do have a bomb barrel, good. All right, let's pick up this chest. Another spirit orb. Let's go. Yeah, sorry to say to all of the fans out there that was dreaming of a randomizer where they where they could collect 900 different uh Koroks, but yeah, Koroks are not randomized. Sorry, Chad. I know how many of you guys really wish that you would have had to collect all 900 for item checks, but uh, not part of it. Sorry. Could Koroks be an option at least? Um, after talking about how it would work because i asked if we could make an extreme mode uh pretty much after talking to melon the answer is no because of how the korok cutscene works you would have to copy paste the korok cutscene 900 different times and individually change it so yeah koroks will stay the same um because yeah if you want to change a single individual one it would require 900 copy pastes because of the how the game is set up Lizard bow. Could rewards be changed like shop sanity? Oh yeah, the shops are random. You'll find it soon. They will find it out soon enough though. Uh no, Hastu's gift is not part of this randomizer anymore. All the goals have been changed. Royal bow. Bo Damn it, I want to find the paraglider. Alright, let's head over to the shrine. Let's head over and get some shrines. Thank you, Star, for the Prime Gaming sub, our friend. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Love to see Primes in the chat. Uh, shrine chests are randomized, but it is not part of the 32 chests on the Great Plateau to find the Paraglider. For the Paraglider one on this specific version, it was made to not be too difficult, so it's only the Overworld ones. But obviously, could technically be changed in the future. Stealth chest guard. Dude, they really like those stealthy outfits, huh? Hey, at least I look sick now. Dude, I look awesome. Thank you, Tetris Attacker, for the Prime Gaming sub. And thank you, um, Asko, for the Prime Gaming 8 bomb 3 sub. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get another rune quickly. Bam. Dude, just seeing that insta drop is so satisfying. For being a speedrunner that I've seen this cutscene a thousand times, just seeing it immediately drop down like that is just... Oh. Yay, we got a Moblin arm. Thank you, Hyrule Dad, for the Prime Gaming sub as well, my friend. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Diamond! Let's go! Alright. 
Oh, I might as well complete it. I'm so close now. I'm guessing that it was a gymnast who inspired me to do a Legend of Zelda randomizer. Uh, what? Huh? I've been doing randomizer since like literally the first week of launch of the very first randomizer being released for a Zelda game. I've been doing it for years, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Alright, there's a chest over here. Topaz, damn it! Where's my paraglider? Paraglider pod check? We got a scam train, let's go! <laughs> oh god, that's a golden bacoblin. Please don't tell me they have bows. Oh god, do not hit me. If he hits me with a single shot, I'm so dead. Oh god. At least it only gave him normal arrows. If it was light- Oh my god! If it was light arrows, I would have been so screwed. One shot protection only applies if the damage isn't too high. If, for example, someone deals four hearts of damage to me, I will survive with a quarter of a heart. If someone tries to deal like ten hearts of damage to me, I will not get a one heart protection. Another spirit orb! Let's go! We can get more hearts! All right, now let's actually cook some food. That's actually why I took this entire long detour. Uh, I wanted to get some food. Oh my god, is that a shield? Oh, I lost. Oh my god. Yeah, that command can literally be entirely scrapped. Uh, almost none of that statement is long no longer true. Alright, let's start cooking some food, Chad. I lost is a Craigasm meme. So, like, when something is super, like, amazing, you know, you Craigasm. So, I lost Craigasm. Yeah, you get it. I'm not even gonna explain it in more detail. If you don't get it, then, um... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, bro. Uh, thank you, uh, Kanda for the 18 bits. Thank you, uh, Kaisi for the 10 month reason. Thank you, Kanda for the 100 bits. Thank you, Kanda for the 10 bits. Thank you, Durham for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Alright, now we have some food. And we have a shield, finally. Oh, God. That golden enemy over there is spooky. Ooh, another great bow. Okay. Ah! I want that. Oh god. Oh god! Give me the chest, give me the chest, give me the chest. Oh no. What? One hit? I even had temporary hearts! Yeah, well, whoever came in the chat and said, Well, actually, Linkus, you have a one-hit protection. Yeah, my ass one-hit protection against a gold enemy. I even had four temporary hearts and it didn't make a difference. Still one smacked. 
I'm picking up the bow just so he can't pick it up. Absolute five head play right there. Now they can't shoot me with arrows. Thank you, Chaos, for the two month reason, my friend. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And thank you, Low Five Fan, for the 100 bits. I'm having some really bad luck finding this paraglider right now. But any second now, Chad. Any second. Any second now. Level 2 scam train. Maybe. Pause champ. Maybe. I think it's over. No! Another spirit orb. Nice. What the hell is that weapon? A silver longsword. Hello. I'll take that. Alright. How many orbs have I found so far? Five. Yeah, I'm gonna go under the waterfall soon. I'm gonna try and do it. I want to get the stasis first, though, because it's kind of, like, out of the way, quote-unquote. <laughs> Another spirit orb. Hey, at least we're getting spirit orbs. Oh god, that guy has light arrows? Do not hit me. Do not hit me. Do not hit me. Oh god. Whew. All right. Oh, whew, okay. Let's go pick up stasis. How many pieces of Hestu's gift do I need? Zero. Yeah, the power of an M.2 SSD. <laughs> Loading times are just peepo poof. Yeah, I'm just betting that that chest inside of that shrine isn't anything good. Golden bow? Uh, what other bows do I have? That could actually... Oh, yeah. We're getting that. Uh, let me think here for a second. Should be right down here. If this isn't a good item, I think I'm gonna go back up. Another spirit orb. Hey, we take those. We take those, shall we take those? Yes, this will be turned into a YouTube video. I'm scrapping the other two randos with them because the random is so much different now. The last two streams I did were so outdated. The entire objective and at what's randomized is so just 
change at this point. <laughs> boomerang. Did anyone actually use boomerangs in their playthrough? Even in my cash show playthrough, I literally never used boomerangs. Whenever I got a boomerang, I was like, yeah, dude, sure. Okay, 10 bomb arrows. So I don't have to reload the save file. I already know. So as you can see, because I saw that it was 10 bomb arrows to drop there, I don't actually have to reload the file to make sure that it wasn't bomb arrows. So I will let that be. Oh god, where am I going? Monka W. I kind of want to make it over there, but I don't have Cryonis. Shit. We should be the best of luck here, Chad. Ah! Clutch? Let's go! Shock arrows. Let's go! Paraglider has been found! Woo! Alright, and now the entire game is unlocked. Easy clap. Alright, I'm actually not gonna check every remaining chest on the Great Plateau then. But, I will, however... Uh, go and unlock stasis because I think having stasis is probably a pretty good idea And do you know what it means Chad by having paraglider early that means that you can BIL during the great plateau Uh, Sorry cryonis my bad So yeah for anyone who knows movement glitches you can now use movement glitches on the great plateau Oh god. All righty. Beautiful. All right, easy clap. Alright, this is a quick chest to check. Let's check this chest in this one. Alright. Oh, thank God we just got a grade one guardian. The last one we got a test of strength one was not fun. No! That weapon is shit. All right. Well, actually, I'm not even going to beat this uh, shrine. So, uh, Chad. <clears throat> Honestly, uh, we got the paraglider. We can now go anywhere we want. So, you know what we're going to do, Chad? We're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna use a movement glitch to make it all the way to Hyrule Castle, and we're gonna go and see what happens if we try and beat Ganon right now. So let's do it. Let's actually do a movement glitch, go all the way and let's uh, to Ganon, and uh, try and beat him. Let's do it. Sub one hour randomizer, huh? Shit, I got a bad angle. Shit, I'm going the completely wrong way. You know what? I actually intended to go with this angle. I'm gonna get this tower here and then go to the Hyrule Castle. Yep, that was my plan all along. Totally my plan.
All right, I might accidentally press press on this button here. Oops. Hey, we got the Sheikah sensor, because I totally didn't have that before. Alright, now let's head to Hyrule Castle, shall we? Wait, oh no. Did you lose level 2? Uh... Nope, still works. We're good. <laughs> no need to panic, Balan. It's fine, it works. I'm assuming that means that he forgot to bug test uh, what happens if you actually pick up <laughs> level one after getting level two early. All right, this should be a good angle. Okay, better than last one at least. Wait, I only have only have one bar of stamina. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna try. And, I, I think I'm going to BIL to the tower, and then we'll BIL up, uh, BIL up to Ganon. Ali, don't include this in the YouTube video. Just, just, just cut from when I made it to the second tower until I get this angle for the for for Hyrule Castle, shall we? Let's just let's just pretend that none of the last two minutes happened, shall we? Uh, for context, this is not even copium. This is actually real. The angle is entirely different on emulator versus console, so I have to get used to how I need to look. Because on uh, on a console, you go like twenty degrees to the right of where you uh, go off. Here, you uh, on emulator, you go straight left. I think this should be a good angle. I hit the goddamn Zora. Nintendo has confirmed that Wind Waker HD is going to be on the Switch in 2022. Sure, buddy. Yeah. I totally trust you. Perfect angle! All right, so let's make this an any percent randomizer, shall we? Let's go and beat Ganon. Let's do it. Let's go and beat Ganon. Okay, let's do it. Here we go.
Hero of Hyrule, chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. Wait, what? Using your abilities to drain Ganon of his power is key to our success. Take hold of the Master Sword. <clears throat> so, the trigger for activating the entire Ganon fight has been replaced with a trigger that checks for the Master Sword. So no matter what glitches you want to try and use, you cannot just go and break this randomizer because you cannot physically actually go and beat the game without having obtained the Master Sword. Which means that you have two options depending on your playstyle to give more options for the player. You can either A, grind the overworld, keep looking for chests to find 40 spirit orbs, or the one thing that hasn't been randomized is the heart containers, which means that if you don't want to spend as much time looking for overall chests for 40 spirit orbs, you can choose to beat the Divine and Beasts on your own accord, which not only gives you the ability, you know, of beating a dungeon, but a guaranteed heart container, which means that each dungeon you beat removes four spirit orbs that you would have had to find in chests. So, if you're someone that rather wants to spend time beating dungeons, you have that opportunity by instead beating four dungeons, you get the four abilities, and now you also, you know, only have to get, you know, you know, in the mid-20s of spirit orbs instead of 40. So that gives a lot more options in terms of routing and strategies, and it gives a lot more opportunities in terms of how you want to play it, which is, in my opinion, a much better way of going about having an objective in the randomizer uh, compared to... Um, you know, collecting, like, an obsolete thing like Hestu's Gift or something like that. Um, and to answer some questions, this is not going to be part of the video. No, we did not patch any, or Melon, I should say, did not patch any of the glitches. However, I actually told him that I don't think it's that necessary. Because if you look, right, in Ocarina of Time, you can literally just bomb hover over to Hyrule Castle without getting the medallions. In Wind Waker, you can totally, if you get, for example, the Triforce pieces, do barrier skip to skip the sword or whatever, right? Every randomizer, you can't technically do sequence breaks to skip what you're supposed to. It's just that people don't, because that defeats the purpose of a rando. So can you technically do the glitches? Sure. Will every single tournament ban them? Absolutely. Should you do the glitches if you do a randomizer? At that point, why even play rando? So, yeah, can you do the glitches? Sure, but will people do them? No. It's like every other rando. Every other rando, yeah, you can do the glitches. On A Link to the Past, you can clip out of bounds and walk to Ganon if you want to, but no one does that. <laughs> so, can you do the glitches? Sure. Will people? I don't think so. If so, why are you doing a rando? But yeah, so no glitches have been patched. Uh, but yeah, either way, with that being said, now when I showed off what the objective of this randomizer is, let's leave Hyrule Castle, because I do not want to go through Hyrule Castle right now, and let's actually try and get some stuff, because, uh, our objective, like I said, is to actually, um, you know, get the Master Sword. Now, I don't think I'm gonna get all four Divine and Beasts, but I definitely want to get the Rita one, because the Rita one gives you Rivali's Gale. And for anyone that's played uh, Breath of the Wild, you will know that Rivali's Gale is awesome to have early on. All right. Uh, let's go and check out this shrine right here, actually. This is an interesting shrine. This is a test of strength shrine. So let's check it out. A minor test of strength. This should be pretty easy.
Sorry, dude. How's that trail shaft of yours? <laughs> so the guardians can be randomized in between each other. Thankfully, we got lucky and we got a weak one, but also the weapon that they hold are randomized. So yeah, as you can see, a little bit different. Ooh, wait, that's actually a really good weapon. Hold it. Bye, bye. This looks so wrong. <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> I'm pegging! Why did he get nothing? Because I didn't get a spirit orb. Actually, uh, before we continue, but this is, I don't know, I don't know if, I don't know if I'm gonna include this in a YouTube video or not, but actually, let me explain some of the thought processes that gone into this Breath of the Wild randomizer. I know some people are gonna be like, Ugh, but let me basically explain the idea of it. So, if you look, Breath of the Wild, take notes by the very chat. So, let me explain some of the thought process here. So, when you look at a normal randomizer, what do we like about randomizer? The we thing we like about the randomizers is that that changes the way you experience the game each time. Right? So the way you play the game every single time is different. Now, that gets very difficult in terms of open world games. If you look at RPGs or open world games in general, the few games that have it, the most common approach is to randomize stats, right? So how do you customize how to go about a Breath of the Wild randomizer? On the very first beta releases that we tested, we tried to, you know, do four Divining Beasts and Hastu's Gifts. But what, what resulted in that, if you watch the first two streams, and you can probably even give me a nod or if you saw it, the way you play the rando ends up being pretty much the same way still. You pretty much just do the exact same way of playing it. You beat a couple of shrines, you enter a shrine, you do a shrine skip, you get the hearts, you get some more hearts, you do heart and stamina so you don't die all the time, you go and you beat the four divine and beast, and then when you spec out, you start checking the, the, the areas with the most amount of chests, and then you slowly start checking places with like less... Uh, less chests and that's literally how every single random will go so how do you actually try and force the player to play the game differently every single time well the best way to go about that is to actually remove something so instead of just having randomizers being get all the shrines and get the divine and beasts we instead made it so divine and beasts is an optional thing that will benefit the player but isn't necessary. And depending on how many spirit orbs you've gotten up to Divine and Beast, you can choose yourself, do you want to do Divine and Beast or not? And when it comes to shrines, instead of just making it so that every single randomizer is do a shrine, do a shrine, do a shrine, instead, you can either A, choose not to do a shrine, or B, go in and do the shrine because you want to check the chests inside, which are going to be random every time, and the enemies inside can also be completely random. Um, and on top of that as well, a little bit of a bonus fact, but this is part of the consideration, but another of a bonus fact is that shrine skips, which a lot of people that play random masters will know, or a lot of people that played Breath of the Wild would know how to solve shrines. But often in many shrines, the actual way to get the chests inside of a shrine is usually harder and completely different. Uh, for example, right here, most people will be able to skip this, even if not, it's very easy to solve it, but a lot of the chests inside of these are much harder to get, which means that it adds another bit of challenge and change to how you will play the game. So overall, that's kind of the entire process uh, that went into how to develop this rando. So I know a lot of people are like, wait, this, that, this. Every decision was thought through enough to make it so that, um, 
it will change up the experience as much as possible. Every time you play it. So I hope that kind of uh, answers a lot of people's questions. I don't expect it to give you a spirit orb, but I'm surprised that it doesn't give you another item. It's because that would be a very minor change to how that you would play the game. And also you would have to copy paste and manually edit 120 cutscenes every single time. Because since it's made up on a cutscene, you would have to literally edit and customize a cutscene 120 different times. So because of how the game is designed, that's why it wasn't implemented. Because the change would have just been so minor. It still does give you HP, yes. Wait, where is the chest in this one? Hello? Oh my god, it's there? Bro, <laughs> you can tell I'm a speedrunner. I have no freaking clue. Oh, I'm disappointed. I have no freaking clue where all of the chests are in these shrines. Entrance Entrances to each randomizer has not been changed in this version of the randomizer because you would have to specifically locate the exact X, Y, Z coordinates because they place the shrine rooms in different areas. And the entrance to each one is also placed differently, which means that if you just made it so that it put another another shrine, for example, that you're entering, because it will use the same values of where it should be putting you, you would literally spawn out of bounds. So there would have to be a lot of things going into it. If it have to run a check to check which randomizer it's supposed to do, which one that shrine would put your... Um, position to be to ma make it fit the elevator so there's a lot of small things like that in quirks um so for now that is um that is kept the same not that i want to fault nintendo and say that the way they did it is stupid because uh i mean they didn't really build it in an intention to make making randomizers easy but yeah, that is my uh, that is my speech of the day. So I hope that kind of explains the the randomizer. And like I said, no matter what, I'm really excited. I think that this is the best way to go about it. In the long term, I think this is the best way to go about a Breath of the Wild randomizer because it will actually make it different. Because already when I did the second randomizer of the last version, I was getting bored because I did it the exact same way almost as the first one. So I think this system is just so much better. Alright, I want to go over to the stable. I want to try and get the Rito as quickly as possible, just so that, um... Oh yeah, I should run the chest detector, you're right. Five head. Approximately how many chests are there in the overworld? I don't know in the over in the overworld what like 1.3 or 1.4k. Yeah, 1.3k I don't remember how many there were in the shrines as well and everything like that, but yeah, I mean I guess it would be around 1.4 1.4k 1.5 300? Okay. Yeah, so 1.6k chests. How many spirit orbs do I have? 
Right now I have seven. Chest logic? Oh, I can cook some more food. Yeah, the original, the original, um, what we're gonna, for the public release to, so you can change the difficulty, uh, since it's hard to include and exclude chests, you'll be able to, you'll be able to choose yourself how many, um, essence there will be spawned onto the overworld. The reasoning for that is because if you just go vanilla, which would be 120 location, I actually asked some five people to run the math. And if you just did 120 or 130, whatever, and the math is really rough. So we will give it an option so you can determine the difficulty. So we did it right here. So if you need 40 orbs and you only placed 120 in the overworld, right? There would be a 0% of getting it within 200 checks, 0, 0.0, blah, blah, blah. To find it within 400 item checks, 400 chests, you would have a 0.68% chance of getting 40 within 400 checks. And you would have a 70% chance to find it within 600 checks. If you beat every single Divine and Beast, so you only need to get 24 orbs, then it would be a 0.14% chance of 200 checks, 76% chance of 400 checks, and 99% chance of 600. So as you can hear, those odds are absolutely horrible, which is why I said that we should make it an option so that um, the player can choose themselves how difficult it would be with how many spirit orbs there are in the game. Because otherwise, with those odds, pretty much every rando would also be the same. Beat the four divine beasts, because otherwise your odds are bad, and then you spend hours looking for chests, so... Yeah, you will be able to change yourself how many orbs there will be, so you can change the difficulty. So the player will have a lot of different options. Hi, Maisie! Who are you? Oh god. I was gonna beat this Talus, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it ended up being different in the end, but it's still it was still a it was still a good base mount ice cap. I wonder if the ice actually works this time. Last time the ice was only visual and not an actual effect. Damn it, he fixed it! On the beta versions, if you found an ice one or a fire one, it didn't actually apply the effect. The high knock still behaved the same way as if it was the default one. But he fixed it! Uh, sorry, Talus, not Hinox. Damn it, now it's actually harder. I don't like that one bit. He turned ice. Okay, never mind. I don't think I'm gonna kill this uh, Talus. Of course I'm mad that it's fixed. It's so much harder. <laughs> I preferred when it was buggy. It was so much easier then. The buggy release was so easy. It was like easy clap to defeat all the Talises. Now when it's fixed, it's actually hard. You can't handle one Talus with three hearts and my equipment? No. I don't have any good two-ended weapons. No! That's the most Jebait chest ever. A single individual rupee, dude.
and rock salt. One rupee and rock salt. Very nice. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, I'll make sure of that. I knew I could count on you guys to give me some good tips. Oh, Durian. I'm kind of happy that these pieces of wood are not random because it's making my life easier for campfires. Why are my graphics crisper? It's just because I stream at 1080p. That's totally the only reason, I promise. Don't worry about it. Alright, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna break my NDA. This is actually being played on the Switch Pro, Chad. This is the Switch Pro right here. Oh yeah, I'm poor. It's being released any day now, Chad. Uh, that is definitely something that would that would be possible, Kuro. Not part of this, but would definitely be possible. I think it would be more annoying, but <laughs> technically possible. But once again, that seems annoying. <laughs> I like my Rivali's Gale. Wait, the Switch Pro has an RTX 2080 Super and an i9-9900K? Yep. Bird up. Yeah? Yeah? That divine beast was taken over by Ganon 100 years ago. A hundred years ago? You must find a way inside in order to free it from Ganon's malice. You got it. I believe in you, Link. Alright, I'm sad that I don't have more spirit orbs, but at least I can get one hard upgrade. Wait, that actually reminds me. Does Simu run on Mac OS since it has Vulkan support now? Or did the developers not add Mac support for it yet? I should say native Mac support. Obviously, you can get around it, but does anyone know if natively Simu can be started on it? Uh. Uh. No. Windows and Lin Linux only? Damn. I was gonna say, because the new M1 chips are so freaking poggers, I would love it. <laughs> hey, we can be a pretty girl now. You know what, Chad? I'll be- I'll do it for the true fans. Poggers! Unlock the shrine. True fans or only fans? Good question. I 
I know that this is just because I'm a nerd, and this is just because I'm a nerd. Do not take this personally in any way. The, like 99% of people will not be dance gaming at this. But the fact that in the chat someone said Max no longer use PC processors and Simu doesn't work with mobile processors. The nerd inside of me hurts so much that someone just called the, an ARM architecture a mobile processor and they call <laughs> x86 PC processors. I know that technically it kind of like, yeah, ARM is more used for mobile stuff, but it just hurts when I write that comment. Don't take it personally, though. That's just because I'm a big nerd. But just reading that comment just really made me sad. <laughs> I was trying to dumb it down for the plebs. I'll accept that. <laughs> Yeah, I, so, by the way, actually, speaking of which, so, I don't want to get too hyped up, because it is Apple, but I think that we should still give a good, like, Drake whenever a company does something good, even though we want better. Uh, Apple did their first step ever, right now, announcing that they're going to allow people to repair their iPhones and the new M1 MacBooks from home. Apple will start selling the camera, battery, and displays directly to consumers so that you can actually replace it on your own and provide you guides how to do it. Now, don't get me wrong, I would love for more parts to become available, but any step in the right direction is good. And I think one of the biggest things, especially in the United States with Apple, because there's no loss to stop them from actually having to support right to repair, is that any progress is good progress. So, yeah, I think Apple deserves a pog for at least doing something, right? Don't get me wrong, it's I still want to see more. Oh god, that's a hard guardian. Don't kill me. But just seeing something in right to repair making progress is good. Nice, spirit orb. Apple is still gaming people. This is just Apple trying to save face. This might be a very big news flash to you, and I hate to really break this one to you, but do you really think that most companies do anything else? I can guarantee you, 80% of companies that are eco-friendly, for example, do not give a crap about the environment. It's just because they can get consumers to buy their products, okay? 99% of companies will do it because it's good PR. There is very few companies that do stuff out of the kindness of their hearts. So that is not an Apple thing, that is an every company thing. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to get into that. Anyways, I just wanted to say Drake's in the chat because any progress is good progress. I would like to see more, but this is a good first step. The 60 FPS is effing me up. Yeah, small ant. I, I've i been playing so much Simu Breath of the Wild getting used to 60 FPS that I tried 30 FPS now and I can't deal with it. So I just decided to run at 60. True, Melon told me when I was bug testing, I was like, oh, I'm gonna try it at 60 FPS. And he was like, nice. And I said, I don't wanna get too used to it though. And Melon in the call was like, turn it off immediately. I can tell you as someone who's done this, if you play a little bit on 60 FPS, you will not wanna go back. And I was like, it'll be fine. I did bug testing for like three, four hours. And then I was gonna start my stream. I switched to 30 FPS and I was like, this is gross. <laughs> and then I've just been sticking to 60. Oh, the falcon bow. Give me that. Hit. 
damn. I hope I could just like sneak by and get them two times. Seems the game outsmarted me. Yeah, you know what? That's a good take. Let's uh, let's VIP Melon. Dad just texted me. It's on you. It's targeting us. True, I think that is the first VIP I've given out for someone actually having done like a lot of work to earn it. Most of the time in a VIP, it's either friends or for memes. Actually, you know what? I guess if you're friends with me, you might have earned it. I, I'm a little bit of a pig, so you know what? If you <laughs> if you dealt with me for long enough to become my friend, I guess you maybe deserve it also. And mods are like on a completely different level. Mods has been on my bad side. I pretty much just mod people who I dislike because, yeah, they just get permanently donor walled and have to do free work. Now, super mods on the other hand that have dashboard access. Those are the type of like homies that you know you kiss goodnight. Well done, Link. That thing is history. Am I one of those? Uh I don't even remember who has my who has access to it anymore. Where do you even check that after Twitch changed how everything is? Where do you even find that on today's dashboard? I hate the dashboard nowadays. I don't even know where I can see it. Is it under stream? No. Channel? That guy didn't stop. I don't even remember where it is. Yeah, sorry chat. Out of everything that's been added, so it's now since pretty much everything is randomized, the one thing that isn't randomized is Divine and Beast, because Divine and Beast are a bit more extra tricky. So sadly, this one is going to be vanilla. It's under community and then role managers. Okay, nodders. Community role managers. Found it! Let's see here. We have editors. We have Birdo, Dr. S, Frozen, KK, Cohen, Quando, Maisie, Ned, Ned's Alt. He gets a double one. Seraph, Silpha. That's it. The man with the plan did not make the cut, Chad. Frozen has editor powers. That's a very, very old one, believe it or not. Frozen used to be very active in our stream back in the day. And I kind of, like, lived with him as well. Unpaid for, like, two months, so. <laughs> I 
you know, maybe count it as rent. There are three. I'm almost out of food, Monka W. For speedrunning, I play on original hardware. I'm not entirely out of food. I have materials that I can eat, but I don't have any cooked food anymore. Uh, I actually am not enough familiar with Breath of the Wild. Oh, sorry, with with Wii U uh, homebrew. I think Melon would be better at answering this. So this one is run with a graphics pack on Simu. Uh, but I'm assuming, knowing how GameCube uh, mod modification works, that there must be tools that allows you to patch Wii U ROMs uh, to add mod packs natively into the game. Or run mod packs through, like, a homebrewed Switch, for example, or something. So, or a Wii U, so... Without having tested it myself, I assume that it would work. You don't even have to patch the ROM. You just shove the files onto an SD card and start the game like normal. Damn! That's way easier than I thought. Okay, answer is yes then. You can run it on console. I don't think I would run Breath of the Wild on console though, unless I can play on the Switch version. Um... I'd probably play on a homebrewed Switch. I don't want to play Breath of the Wild on console. Wii U. Alright, here we go! Yeah, you can homebrew your Switch as long as you own a launch Switch. There is- there was an- there was a flaw in the architecture used for the, uh, chip from NVIDIA when the original Switch came out that can't be patched because it's on a hardware level. Um, so every single launch Switch and Switch sold within the first few months of the- uh, of the Switch will be able to be homebrewed, no matter what Nintendo does software-wise, it will always be able to be homebrewed. Um, but later launched switches will, uh, cannot be homebrewed, to my knowledge. However, I will warn everyone, if you have a switch that you either got on launch or a few months afterwards, don't homebrew it unless you own a second switch, because you will be banned from playing online. So only do it, in my opinion, if you own a second switch. If you only own one Switch and it's the one you got at launch, I would not. Depending on what you do, I guess. Depending on what you do, you can get banned or not. But in my opinion, I would just keep it offline. I wouldn't want to risk it. Revali's Gale is now ready. All right, we got a heart and Revali's Gale. Let's go! Please be a good item. Damn it. That is shit. <laughs> All right, we got six hearts.
In Europe, you should technically be able to play online with a hacked Switch because they can't use your data if you don't give permission. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure that you read the entire terms of service to check what you actually accepted, right? <laughs> I'm sure that you read through it and made sure that that wasn't part of what you agreed upon, right? Because you're right, you have, to, you have to give permission for them to use that data in Europe. So, I'm sure you read through the terms of service to make sure that uh, you didn't give them permission for that, right? Alright, anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, where do I want to go? Crap. Papega. Oh yeah, I was gonna check a bunch of easy clap overall chests. Yeah, it's the same thing as like... Uh, it's the same thing as like nowadays in Europe, you get pop-ups all the time when you go to a website about if they're allowed to use cookies and track you and everything like that. However, one, most of the time people just click yes. And the websites are smart. Some website will flat out not let you use their service if you say no to that. Or if you press no, you have to go through a bunch of different pages and tabs on some websites that it makes such an annoyance to go through and be like, yes, I understand this. Yes, I'm allowed to understand yeah, this. Uh, that like I'm losing out on these features if I'm not allowing them to have cookies. That you just want to just click yes. It is not exclusive to Europe, that is true, but it was implemented because of Europe's law. Uh, and some websites only give you the really bad, annoying pop-ups of the tracking info in Europe. In the US, you get less of it, but yeah, you're right. Most of the time, they just give you one little pop-up in the bottom in the States. And also, I, I don't care if companies have my data. Crap, uh, what was I gonna do? My brain, Pepega. Oh yeah, I was gonna go back here. Uh... Yeah, no. I actually meant for that to happen. Uh, I thought that would be a funny moment. So I actually did that on purpose. Let's go! No! <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, I pretty much just accept that uh, my data is tracked and kept. I don't really mind too much, honestly. As a private individual, I don't really mind too much. And also with how I use the internet, even if it's in DMs, I literally follow this rule on Discord DMs or any sort of DMs. I will only type stuff that I would be okay with if it's seen by everyone at some point in the future. I, I don't use the internet away to where I think I actually have privacy. I literally don't.
Hard believe. Oh, I'm sure that I've typed things in DMs that would be embarrassing, but nothing where, like, if it came out, yeah, I'd be a bit embarrassed, but whatever. But that doesn't matter too much. I'm a very open person in general, so, like, I don't really mind it. I feel like most of the most embarrassing things that's happened in my life, I've told the stream, so... <laughs> also, I'm gonna try it, Melon. Let's see if it actually works. Did you say I should try it with a mushroom? Let's try it. There is a cool little thing that uh, Melon did for the stream today. Um, it's not part of the randomizer, it's just an external thing. Let's see if it actually works. But place a mushroom with it, okay? I'm gonna safety save just in case beforehand. Okay, so materials. Let's do chill rooms, they suck. Let's see if it worked. Oh, uh, let's see if it worked. Did not work. Yeah, I don't think I can do it easily, Melon. I don't think I can easily show stream it. Just trick on replace and then don't reload. Okay. <laughs> Does it actually update in the game? No! Anyways, we got a Link is 7 shirt if we find a Nintendo Switch shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. I think I could just replace the pants there. Let's go! It still technically counts as pants. Shit. Yeah, I'm giving up. Sorry, Melon. I appreciate the I appreciate the mod, but uh, I'm giving up on it. I'm giving up on it. No link is seven shirt. Pants are overrated. Also, oops. I hate that my loading times are so fast that I got I get the glitch HUD often. I think if I enter and leave the shrine, it should fix it. Link is streams without pants confirmed. True. Scam. Let's go! Spirit Orb! You love to see it! Oops. 
See if there's anything cool in the shop. Ooh, I like this headpiece a lot more than what I currently have. We're getting the Hylian Hood, Chad. Ooh, fire pants are also good. Is that heat resistance or cold? Heat? That could also be good. Let's get it. Dude, I look awesome now. This Korok has a very interesting taste. Wildberry, acorn, volt, fruit, and hydro melon. Very nice. Goron spice, monster extract. I think Goron spice could be good to have. Oh yeah, I've been offered by Twitch multiple times to change my username from Linkus7 to Linkus. I just don't really want to do it. Dude. Why though? Might sound dumb, but... If I change my name, I would want to make sure that I can have the same name on every single social media. And I cannot get Linkus, Linkus on every social media, but I can get Linkus 7 on a few of them. So I could change my name on tw on YouTube to technically have Linkus. I could also have it on Twitch. On Twitter, I would not be able to have it. So I don't know. I mean, I guess my handle would be Linkus 7, my name might just be Linkus, but I don't know. I just haven't really felt the need to change it, honestly. Like, I don't know. It doesn't really bring me a benefit. If someone else would have Linkus, I would probably consider it. But here's the thing. If you type Linkus into any social media, the only recommendation is going to be Linkus 7. Do you know what I mean? And so for me, it's just like, it do I don't see any benefit to being just Linkus. If you search up Linkus, it would just be me that comes up anyways. I think even on Google that's true. I haven't tried it, but I mean, let's just try it. Let's just go to Google and let's search Linkus. Results from Linkus suggests you to search Linkus 7. And then the first suggestion is Linkus 7 Twitch. And then the next one is Linkus 7 Wikipedia page. Then then, then I see, then there's some um, Linkus, uh, Linkus download, which is a software for downloading different things, and then there's my YouTube channel, Link is 7 YouTube channel, and then there's the Twitter. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. No matter where you look, Linkus will bring up my channel anyways. So I guess here's kind of my thought process on like all the videos that I've been, uh, that I've, uh, that I've done, uh, you know, like, you know, every single video that I've been featured in where I've done a collab or a GDQ or anything like that, right? If someone directly would search up Linkus 7, it would be not found in a lot of social medias. But if they search Linkus, then they will always find Linkus 7. Does that make sense? So, yeah, I don't know. I just don't really see the benefit of it. I don't really see a big benefit of changing to Linkus from Linkus 7. Oh, uh, let's get Hestu, actually. While I'm here. I actually tried to get the handle Linkus with Small Ant. Small Ant actually helped me out to reach out because uh, to the 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 Linkus Twitter channel uh, Twitter account. But yeah, um, don't know Wald. Yeah.
Link is a girlfriend, right? It was funny. The video I uploaded on Link is Seven Daily, where Maisie was part of it, literally the entire the entire question was just, "Is that his girlfriend?" <laughs> that was literally my entire comment section. P uh, well, in the beginning, then it ended up having comments about other stuff, but that was the original part. And also, that tells me that they clearly have never watched the stream if they asked that. That's a YouTube frog right there, if you ask that. I really hope that this is a spirit orb. I really don't hope it's a spirit orb. I kind of want to upgrade my inventory. That's why I asked I came from that? Nice. I will say, I should probably bring Maisie on for more of my Link to 7 daily videos. Uh, for my Mario 64 videos, the ones with the most amount of views is when Maisie is in the goddamn thumbnail. They perform better than any other Mario 64 video on that channel. People love seeing Maisie in the thumbnail. Thank god. Yeah, Maisie, you're the best clickbait for the daily channel. Uh, except for randomizers. I actually had what I actually had my second ever post make it uh, pretty high up on stream uh, on uh, on live stream fails. I've only been twice put on live stream fails. One time was when I had to go to the emergency room in a Breath of the Wild Hunter run. The second time was when Maisie was in the background of my stream with a specific outfit that really, you know, put a lot of focus on her boobas. And immediately people clipped just the section of Maisie being in the background and just literally just two clips of Maisie. It's the only times I made it to live stream fails. People are thirsty on this platform, dude. I think there's a chest on the side here, or is that on another mountainside? I have to start actually following the the Pwip Pwip tracker soon. I wanted to go here though, because there's a lot of chests in that cabin right there. What a good doggo. Streamer do this reset. <laughs> nah. I unlike you, I don't get stuck in early game, bro. I would never get stuck on early game. Never. I don't reset my speedruns at all. I only get god tier speedruns going. Yeah, first try every time, baby. Oh, by the way, Blue, now I want to actually have your full attention so you don't, like, don't know all my messages. Which, by the way, I don't blame the hall, and it requires a lot of looking at the game. Uh, do not start paying for, uh, better Twitch TV. Just get 7 TV. 7 TV, 10 times better. The majority of people, anyways, uses FFZ with the Beta TV add-on, so they can just enable 7 TV. 7 TV has more emotes than Beta TV at this point. It allows you to get 200 emote slots instead of just the f uh, 50 if you pay uh, BTTV. And it also supports uh, more emotes in general, like more wide ones and animated ones and stuff like that. So 7 TV is way better. It's also open source and free. So, yeah. Instead of like supporting BTTV for and getting greedier and greedier, just do 7 TV. And like I said, 99% of users just uses FFZ 
and then the enable BTTV emotes with that. In that same menu, you just enable 7TV. The most Twitch viewers have it enabled at this point. Ruby! Amber? What the hell is this? This is almost vanilla. Give me some good shit, bro. Thank you. Spirit Orb. That's what I like to see. Give me some more of those. No! What the hell is these? Dude, stop giving me close to vanilla shit here. Star Frag. Okay, that's a little bit better, but come on. Give me some orbs. No! Hey chat, do you want to defeat the entire purpose of the randomizer and duplicate hearts and stamina, Kappa? Ooh, that's a chest. Oh god, that's a golden bacoblin. Do you have any good weapons I want? No, I'm out. Ah! No, what I do is I have FFZ and then I have every plugin enabled at the same time. So with FFZ, I just enable BTTV emotes and I enable 7TV emotes. So instead of having multiple plugins, I just have the one and enable it all. And nowadays, BT uh, FFZ also offers some more settings than BTTV does. So I don't really see any reason to actually use Better Twitch TV as the main plugin anymore. Oh god. Ah! Kinda want that axe. Oh never mind, it's not a battle plus axe. There's more enemies? Come on, bro. There's more enemies! Dude, I need better equipment. My equipment sucks. Yeah. There's, yeah, if you have better Twitch TV emotes enabled in FFZ, you do not need to have the be better Twitch TV add-on downloaded at all. Every feature that Beta TV uh, gives you is in FFZ, and if it's just the emotes you care about, then you get all three of them in one. This is pretty cool. Good one, streamer. Because it was Ice Arrows. Get it? You get it, chat? You get the good joke? I'm so dead. Where did the chest go? Oh my god, it's right there. Wait, you're right, I should have grabbed the ancient shield. Go back! Because I don't have a shield. Did they despawn? No! Of course, the battle axe is still spawned. <laughs> it's 
flint. Honestly, I'm noticing how hard it is to fight enemies. I think I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Zora dungeon. I don't want to beat all the dungeons, but I think just having Rito and Zora would be a good idea. I feel like that's a nodder stake. The other two, I feel like, are not worth it. You know what? Let's do a cool glitch here. I don't have a shield! I can't do it! Never mind, free bear. Is this game as amazing as people say it is? If you mean like for a casual playthrough, absolutely. Have you not played it, Blue? Uh, that's actually a new tech for BIL. So it's known as a backwards BIL. It's really good. I don't have a switch. You should get one. That's all I'm gonna say. Should definitely get one. And even if you're like, I don't have the money for it, I think you should accidentally put up a donation goal on stream to get one done. It's kind of funny how far the Switch has come. I remember when the Switch first launched, there actually was a hot debate if the Nintendo Switch was worth it. Uh, because when it first launched, the only game pretty much was Breath of the Wild. That was pretty much the only game you had, right? Like around that time, you also got like a, Mar a port of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but pretty much you just had Breath of the Wild. So. People were discussing if the Switch was even worth it because it was a Breath of the Wild machine. And even then, many people said, I still think it's worth it just for Breath of the Wild alone. Um, and now, when there's so many games out there, there, it's definitely worth it. Like, I even thought it was worth it for the potential future and for just Breath of the Wild. But now, there's just so many awesome games. Like, if I were to buy a Switch right now and I wouldn't own a Switch, I would immediately want to play Breath of the Wild. I would want to play Super Mario Odyssey. Um, I would also get, like, Metroid Dread, um, I would also get the new Mario Party Superstars, um, I would want to purchase po the Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu and Eevee, Pokemon Sword and Shield, um, I'm trying to think of games that I would purchase right now, knowing everything I do, um, Ludus Mansion 3 was a good one-time playthrough game. Uh, I would not get Age of Calamity again. Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yo! Thank you, Melon, for the fifty dollar donation. Saying I accidentally donated fifty dollars towards Blue SR Switch. I'm pagging. Hey, Melon, I don't mean to be that guy to give some awkward facts, but this might have been the wrong donation goal. Might have been the wrong stream, bro. <laughs> Might have accidentally been the wrong stream. Don't worry though, Blue. I got you. I got you. I'm a nice guy, okay? Um, So, I will give you all of that money except for a small transaction fee of 99.99%. So, I will give you one full bit. That's right. One bit. Because, you know, nowadays in Sweden, we have quite high transaction fees and everything like that. So, um, yeah, it turns out to be about one bit after it's all done. But don't worry, I got you. One full Bitcoin. Pfft. That's a lot of money. How much even is a Bitcoin nowadays? One Bitcoin. 
536,000 Swedish kroners? Huh? It's 60,000 USD? Bro, what? I remember people being like, Linkus, you should buy Bitcoin when it was like 30, $35,000. And I was like, dude, it's not going to go up. 35k is way too much for a Bitcoin. Jesus, almost doubled since then. I thought that 30k was like, because you know, like it hit like 50, 60k. And then it dropped down because of the hype, you know, because like it skyrocketed, you know. So I thought that when it was like, and it slowed down, it was a 30k for a while. I was like, that's what like it's going to be yet. I didn't expect it to go back up again. I think my biggest sad part, I found out something, by the way, that would be really mad. Hold on, pause champ. I found something out that was just painful. I have looked hard for this, but I cannot find it. For the life of me, I cannot find this. So, I cannot find it anymore because it was so many years ago. But I had some Ethereum back in the day. And I've looked far and wide. But I cannot for the life of me get the login. I just cannot find it. I can't find my... I can't find the stupid address. Because it was years ago that I used it. I used it back when I used to do CSGO stuff. And the money is still there. So... If I open up Ethereum, right, this is the sad part. This is the part that really makes me sad. And trust me, I've tried to look so hard for the wallet. I can't find the wallet. So, when I owned Ethereum, an Ethereum was worth about $11. $11. I have somewhere in a wallet that I can't access. Uh, 431 plus 400, uh, 131 plus $180. So I have somewhere, I have roughly speaking about $800 of Ethereum. Back when it was about $15, $20. An Ethereum now is worth $4,200. So those $800 roughly that I cannot find the wallet for of Ethereum that I used back in the day. They are worth 10, like they're worth so much money right now that it, it, it really makes me so bad. I can't find it. I've tried so hard to find it because back in the day it was literally just not worth much. So I, I just, I didn't save it. It's like I, two PCs ago that I owned. I can't find it. I even like looked at my old hard drive. I can't find this stupid thing. So it's locked in a wallet. It's locked in some stupid wallet. But yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, if it's worth 10, like, so think about it, right? It was around worth 12, like, actually, can someone do the math for this? If, if it was worth, if I have $800, actually, just get the exact amount, if someone wants to do the math, because I am too sad to make it. Let's check here. Exactly the amount I have is, let's check here, 431 plus 431 plus 180. I have $742. I have $742 in Ethereum on some wallet. When I had it, it was worth, roughly speaking, about $12. Now that is worth $4,248. So if it's worth, if so, in, so how much would that be worth? 
So it was 12 before, and now it's 4,248, uh, sorry. It'd be $262,000, yeah. So just to let that sink in, an old wallet that I can't find because back in the day, it was worth so little. That is now worth $262,000. So I technically have $262,000 of Ethereum somewhere, but I tried for literally over a week. Like I've tried for weeks to try to find it. Can't find the login. I literally have a quarter of a million dollars. It's like my house in a lost wallet that I can't find. Sure, say locks. You should hire someone to find it. Yeah. The thing is, I know that I... It's not... Thankfully, it's not as much. Because I know that I cashed out at some point in CSGO skins. Some of it. So I think I cashed out, thankfully. This might sound dumb. because, But it makes me happier to know it still. I know... I don't know the exact amount. But I know that I roughly cashed out about half to two-thirds of it. So thankfully, it's not as much as the full amount, but it's still so much money in some stupid random wallet that I can't find. And, but honestly though, that makes me actually wonder, I wonder how much money there actually is in crypto that it just is like lost. Because I can guarantee you, I'm not alone. Back in the day, guarantee you, so many people, especially with Bitcoin, um, which I know so many people that used to mine Bitcoin just for the fun of it, for literally a few dollars because they had free power, that 100% just had a few Bitcoins around in their wallets because it was worth it was worthless at the time when I was around. So there has to be so, like literally millions and millions and millions of dollars, if not like billions at this point in all the wallets of his lost money. Yeah, there was one guy that had seven. Yeah, I saw that article. There was a news article of someone that had seven hundred million dollars in Bitcoin, uh, that can't find his USB stick. Oh, sorry, that can't find his USB stick with uh, with his uh, information. Oh my god, I didn't even know there was a chest here. Is there one on the other side too? No. Imagine being rich but still poor. Actually, that is a pretty good- wait, what am I doing? I don't need the Korok. This is not 100%. What am I even doing? <laughs> Just go to the dungeon, Linkus. What are you doing? Pepega. Shit, I don't have any shock arrows. Never mind, we can't go to the dungeon yet. Damn it! Uh... Ooh, I know what I'm gonna check quickly, because those would be arrow chests. There's two arrow chests that I couldn't check on the Grey Plateau. It's randomized which arrows they are, but they could technically still be shock arrows. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna make chat proud or mad, but the only 
uh, cryptocurrency that I currently own is I have a thousand dollars in meme currencies just spread out and just like keeping them there. That's the only Bitcoin. Uh, that's the only cryptocurrencies I own. I have a thousand dollars in meme coins. <laughs> and because like after I saw Dogecoin, I was like, if I lose all of it, I won't be too mad. So I just put in some in meme coins. And if it's like, and if like a trend like Dogecoin happens again, then hey, at least like I'm part of it. So yeah, I don't really want to get into investing in crypto with big money. Um, I just don't like it. I just find it to be kind of dumb. Bro, where is electric arrows? <laughs> yeah, for sure, DJ. I actually don't own any Do Dogecoin. That was just an example. I own more in... Uh, um, <laughs> it's competitor. Let's go to the Coliseum, actually. Ah, right, actually, will that have arrows there? I don't know. Yeah, no, that chest has, has arrows. That could be a shock. I put $700 in some niche coin and now it's worth like $10,000, Jesus. Bro, why can I not find any shock arrows? Is there anything poggers down here? Hi, Lionel. Uh, well, there is actually one chest down there. Hey, Spirit Orb. Dude, what is that bow? Oh my god, he has light arrows! Oh god, run. Run. Oh god. Holy shit. I am not equipped to fight that dude. I am far from able to fight that dude. I am far too away equipped from that. No, it's not the bow of light. He has shoots light arrows from his normal bow. It's a type of arrow that enemies can have. Where can I even find a lot of arrows? The closest I can think is Gerudo, but I don't want to go to Gerudo. Ugh. I can't think of many good places to get it because it's randomized. That shop has so many arrows, I feel like it has to have some electric arrows. It's the only place that has a lot of it. The stores are randomized too, I'm just going there because I'm assuming that is enough. Because the lake at the top where the Lionel is, those arrows are random. I'm not doing Terror Town, that is a long ass quest. The, uh, the the girl that sells arrows in Kakariko did not have electric arrows or shock arrows. Uh, I have a video breaking down that glitch. It's a full breakdown video on YouTube if you want to check it out. It's Mason Mark BLSS in the chat. What is the goal of uh, this randomizer? Is Ganon isn't locked in the main game anyways? Uh, he's locked in this game. You cannot uh, fight the uh, endgame characters until you have... 
Oh, I'm not fighting that guy. Screw it. I'm just leaving. Uh, until you have the Master Sword. I just don't want to start exploring the overworld too much yet because I'm so vulnerable right now. Like, I'm weak as hell. I haven't gotten lucky with any of the armors that I found. And I also just don't have a lot of hearts or power-ups. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, um, chat, remember last randomizer when we got constant blood moons? I think last time I did this randomizer... We ended up getting, I think, eight or nine Blood Moons throughout our playthrough. Even though a Blood Moon can obviously occur, uh, the randomizer has been so much more optimized that it is much more unlikely to get Blood Moons now that are panic-based. So, it's not a common occurrence to get them now. Okay, I'm gonna unlock this shrine so I can warp here. Wait a second. Are these thing are these Yeah, these are randomized. Shit. Wait, I have Rivali's Gale. All right, let's do it. Let's go to Gerudo and buy some arrows. Free bear. Are the rewards you get from side quests randomized? Madeline would have to answer that. I don't ever do side quests. I know the chests you get from beating, like, a dungeon, so this is a chest, this is random, so, like, those main quests are, but I don't know if... I don't know if... A text prompt, like an NPC one, would be... Uh, gr no, you can't grab the women armor until you... Until you've gone... Wait, I'm inside of a wall? How did I clip out of bounds? What? I accidentally went out of bounds. I think I might have to warp back to the shrine. I don't have enough room to work with the clip back. Maybe Posh Champ here? Oh, let's go! Yeah, I must have had a weird angle as I landed on the edge there when the cutscene activated or something. I've never seen that before. It's kind of cool though. I love when I find new stuff in Breath of the Wild that I haven't experienced before. It's really weird seeing Breath of the Wild in 60 FPS. Isn't it beautiful though? Feels strange because you're not used to it, but it looks gorgeous. This should not be random. 
I hope. Um. <clears throat> Thank you, October, for the Prime Gaming sub. By the way, thank you, Mosquito, for the Prime Gaming four month resub. Thank you, Jekylls, for the 13 months. Thank you, Grange, for the 100 bits as well. Thank you, everybody. Oh my god, I'm poor. Shit, I'm poor. I'm poor. No, I'm poor. Chat. I hate for it to come to this, since, but I, I, I'm only doing it because I'm so poor. If any of you guys have any Prime subs to spare, be sure to drop them in the chat right now. If you connect your Amazon account with your Twitch account, you get Prime Gaming, which means you can subscribe for free. All you have to do is click on subscribe, scroll down and click on subscribe for free. That's all you gotta do, Chad. We need to raise some cash. Why is this fire not working? Bug found? Hello? Thank you, the boy, for the $2 donation. I really appreciate that. Uh, hello? I'm gonna read this like normal because otherwise Chad is gonna... Because it's, hello, Mr. Linkus Uvu. Can I please have some predictions, please? <laughs> no. Nope, sorry, bro. Holy shit, dude, ass the prime subs are coming in. We're gaining money. Look in the top right corner. The only reason why we're getting rupees right now is because of all of those prime subs in the chat. That's totally why. Thank you, Drim, for the prime gaming sub. Thank you, Cute Cat, for the prime gaming six month reason and primed up. Hell yeah. And thank you as well, High Roller, for the prime gaming 50 month reason and 50 months of helping Linkus pay his bills. Thank you. Taking from Bezos, dude. I love when we take from the rich and give it to the poor. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Silver, for the Prime Gaming sub as well, my friend. I appreciate it. You're very beautiful. Dude, run away to a hype train. Let's go. I'm pagging, dude. Dude, let's go. Do 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 Okay, can't really do we just want blow. Thank you, guys, for the five gift and sub jangle. Thank you, Rector, for the 100 bits as well. Thank you, Chunky, for the prime for month resub. Thank you, um, Type four, the Prime Gaming nine month resub. Thank you, do uh, dude person for the Prime Gaming two month resub. Thank you, Silver for the Prime Gaming two month resub. Thank you, Dora for the one hundred bits. Thank you, Saint for the Prime Gaming sixteen month resub. I'm pagging. Level two scan train. Let's go. Please have shock arrow shop. You have got to be kidding me. You have. Oh, thank God, there's someone on the side there. Oh, I thought. Oh my God, I was gonna be so mad. Only two of them? Come on. God damn it! I need 20, I only have 10. Thank you, Willie, for the three month resub. Thank you, JME, for the 24 month resub. Thank you, Willie, for the gifted sub as well. Thank you. G. Nay! I hate that 60 FPS makes you scroll through the menu too quickly sometimes.
Why is campfires not working? Thank you, Inspire, for the Prime Gaming sub as well. Thank you, thank you. Dude, campfires are just completely broken. I cannot sit by a campfire. I literally cannot sit by campfires. I can cook at them, but I cannot sit by them. I've tried wood and I've tried these. Hey, Melon, small bug. Uh, <laughs> used to in five head. Absolute five head. Is this the inn? I never used the inn. Inn? Technically, that is a bed. I oh, thank you, Chris, for the Prime Gaming sub. Thank you, uh, Bites, for the 22 month resub. Thank you, Fraxter, for the 82 month resub. Thank you, uh, everybody, so, so much. Really appreciate it. Night symbol. This has to be the inn. Spa plan, please. In the morning. But yeah, thank you, bite size. What are these sound effects? First room, I think, and got here. How does this randomizer work? Uh. Oh. All items are randomized. All enemies are randomized. Uh, the rewards after beating shrines are completely randomized. I need to find spirit orbs to get enough to get the masses or to beat the game. Uh, shops are randomized. Um, every material and around the game is randomized. Stuff like that. Uh, any good. Wait. Uh, I guess that cold resistance one could wouldn't be bad to have. I have never used the inn before now. Nope, we're not using golden poo poos. That's not part of the rando anymore. Someone keeps spamming in the chat that the shop in the Nehru, or sorry, in Zora's the main had chalk arrows. If I does, I'm gonna double check. And if it's a lot of them, I'm sad. Okay, technically, he wasn't wrong, Chad. There was a singular shock arrow in the shop. Technically, they were wrong, but not really what I was going for, Chad. Alright, let's go up to the Lionel and just hope we get lucky so that the top with the, where the Lionel is located actually has shock arrows. It's all RNG, but let's just hope. I can't enter the dungeon without 20 shock arrows. Alright, I gotta be sneaky. Yeah, this will be my last uh, public showcase before it goes uh, public. N it's not going public today, but like the changes before the public release are going to be quite minor from this. For the first release. Like 1.0 or whatever. Obviously, as time goes on, there's a possibility of new features in the, fu in the, new features in the future, but... But yeah.
And since the objective changed so much since my first two streams, since there's no longer any golden poo-poos, I decided I was just gonna do a new stream of it. Oh yeah. No, do not give me those normal arrow craps. Keep giving me shock arrows. No, no, no fire arrows. No, bad game. That is one evil Lionel. Stop giving me bomb arrows! Oh, he's trying to shoot bomb arrows at me, but because it's raining in this area, it just drops it like a normal arrow. I get it now. <laughs> That's why it's just like some like bad ones. He's just trying to shoot bomb arrows around me, but it's raining, so he's just like... How many do I have? 18. Okay, come on. I need two more. You cannot physically enter the dungeon until you have 20. Come on, game, please. Please. Come on, bro. Oh, no. Come on, I need one more. One more. Oh my god, is that a shock arrow? Oh my god, yes. Yes! I can finally go to the dungeon! Holy shit! Oh god. Nice weapon, bro. Ouch. Come on. <laughs> oh, thank God. Perfect auto save. Let's go! Dude, my equipment and armor is so bad. I have no good armors. My equipment sucks ass. So yeah, after this one, I will have a revive. I will have revive as Gale. I'll have one more heart. Then we're gonna go and farm some chests that have armors. Pray to God we get good armors. And then... We finally go ahead and start, like, hunting chests. I think two dungeons is a good mix.
Here we go. What happens if you try and land on the Divine Beast? He shoots you away. Break that ice. You got it, sir. Hey, there you go. Now you get to see what happens. Can we get rid of that ice? Get those shots. Let's go. Wow, that was astonishing! Thank you, sir. I'm not even gonna skip this cutscene because I love this man so much. Please marry me, dude. Side him, please. Cutting off the water flow from this divine beast. Sixty FPS side on. I'll see you back at Zora's domain. Farewell. Yeah, I'll see you back at Sora's Domain. Finish the job, Link. I people s you back in Zora's domain, hell yeah. Thank you, by the way, uh, Prykori for the 16 month reason. I hope your life is going well. Here's for here is for 16 months. Thank you, I appreciate it. And thank you, anybody, for the two month reason. Here we go again. <laughs> thank you. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. Can't complain. Can't complain. The guidance. Can't complain. There are four. Chat, there are four terminals remaining. Hi, Adrian. Hello, person. <laughs> Hi, I'm person. Nice to meet you. My big question is, when was the last time Linkus did a Minecraft run? I miss my Minecraft streamer. Week and a half ago? Does that sound right, Chad? You will cease take root back. Be careful. Huck. 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 
two weeks ago. And then before that, a couple of months. Clap, frame perfectly timed, obviously. When was the last time I did a Hitman 3 speedrun? I miss my streamer always going to Paris. I actually miss Hitman a lot. Uh, Hitman, I miss way more than I miss Minecraft. When was the last time I did a Breath of the Wild stream? Ah, <laughs> uh, today. I missed my Luigi's Mansion speedrunner. Okay, now that is never happening. I don't think I'm ever gonna return to Luigi's Mansion, personally. I miss my Banjo-Kazooie speedrunner. You weren't even around back then, were you? Do I have plans on Breath of the Wild 100% runs? I'm probably not gonna do Breath of the Wild 100%, at least for a long, long time. Breath of the Wild 100% ruins my sleep schedule, and just... It's just... Uh, even with the sleep breaks, I can just notice how it just has such a huge, bad negative impact on my health when I do them, so... I really don't think I'm gonna bring it back as a consistent form of content. You activated. That should be a meek heaven. Here it goes again, pretending he has a sleep schedule. Dude, you realize that for the past week, I've been averaging waking up around 9, 10 a.m., right? <laughs> oh, God. No, 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 not 9, 10 a.m., 9, 2, 10 a.m. Is there anything I can start downloading uh, in preparation for the rando so that I have minimal things to download? Uh, legally downloading from your own server of your own backed up save files, if that's what you mean, obviously. Yes, you can start by grabbing your legally backed up copy of the North American version of Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Wii U. Uh, the up, the, mo the most recent update for Breath of the Wild, as well as 
um, the DLC. And then you will only have one EXE program to get, which is like 30 megabytes, I think. All right, let's go! All right, we got two Divine Bees. I think that's going to be all that I'm going to get. So that means that we removed eight... Uh, spirit orbs that we need so technically speaking throughout the entire round we would need 32 I think we've already gotten two hard upgrades. I think which is eight uh, And then we've gotten a few more. So yeah, so we need to get a total of 13 hearts. So make some good progress Let's look how many hearts do I have right now? Let's see here one two three four five six seven. I have seven and I have three orbs. That's almost nine. So I need one more for nine. Then I have 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have four hearts I need to get, uh, four on each. So that'll be a total of 16 plus one, so 17. So we need 17 hearts. Sorry, 17 spirit orbs. So 17 spirit orbs. And uh, then we should have them be able to go and get the master sword. My arm, my equipment is still so bad. I think I'm gonna go to Hyrule Castle. I know it's a bit of a risky move, but I'm doing it. I'm gonna be, I, I'm gonna beat, yeah. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a wiggle bomb all the way to Hyrule Castle, and we're gonna start checking around Hyrule Castle. Personally, I would say 200. If the average was the ad to open up 200, I think that would be a good average. I just unequipped the completely wrong thing. I usually open up Linkus's videos on a separate tab to let them play out. I'm both honored and sad to hear that because it's like, it's very nice to hear that you're letting the algorithm know they enjoy the video and you watch the whole thing. But it also makes me a little bit sad because it's on a second tab. It doesn't look like, it doesn't sound like you're actually watching my video. You're just playing it. <laughs> Come on, Spirit Orb. Easy clap. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Easy freaking clap. All right. Now we just need four times four left. I don't know why I said it in that way. <laughs> probably could have uh, probably could have said it in a better way. Now we only need 16 more orbs. Maisie, you don't have to give me excuses, it's fine. I know you don't like to watch my YouTube content. Because you think it's so bad. I watch every single second of your streams. I don't need a recap to see at all again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuses, excuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
You know, Maisie, I'm just letting you know that a mod who watches all my YouTube videos is is on a good path to a uh, to a race. Like it's the mods do that little bit extra that you know get the race. Oh yeah, obviously only I'm only multiplying their base salary. That's the only way I do in my races. If I bought if I bought a Starbucks day with channel points, but I live in another country question mark? Yeah. Uh, it's a bit of a meme goal. <laughs> Because I am an absolute white girl. I... TLDR, I set it to such a high amount that I thought no one would ever be able to reach it. Because it would take so long. Then gambling became a thing, then channel multipliers became a thing. And I kind of just realized that it was very feasible and it wasn't like multiple years so no one would get it. But it's actually a goal people could get. So then I said, fine, I'll keep it. But just know I'm not going to travel around or go to them, but... And then I said, if someone actually redeems one, and it, you attend, like, a GDQ or something, and I'm there, I will take... A, I will drink a coffee with you. So that's the compromise. So if someone redeems it, and I, and I happen to meet them IRL at an event, and the time is right, then we can have coffee. I'm just not equipped for this fight. But if I come to you, not happening, dude. That would just be weird, champ. Trust me, I believe there would be people that would be willing to come and see me, but I, I'm not interested in that. Oh, shit. Oh shit. I'm freaking out. Ooh. Okay. Let's see what we get. Hylian shield! That's not a Hylian shield. Bro! I actually am kind of excited to pick up all the meat. Oh, hell no. Oh, God, hell no. Bye. Hey, Linkus, do you know any writers? Um... I write scripts for videos. Does that count? I'm hired! Let's go! I finally got a real job, Chad. <laughs> no longer do I have to do these fake jobs. I need someone to write an FAQ and a guide with markdowns. Yeah, I quit.
Do I ever plan on quitting streaming? I wouldn't say that I'm planning on quitting streaming. Uh, however, um, I would like to expand as a content creator to do more variety of content, if that makes sense. Um, so I would love to be able to do more IRL content, but it would still be stream and YouTube based, but yeah. But I would never want to quit what I'm doing right now, fully. Damn it, I already purchased those pants! No! If I could make any video that I wanted, what would I make? Uh, if it would perform the same as the most popular videos, I would probably start... I would probably go back to what I used to do when I first fell in love with YouTube, which was have gameplay in the background or a full-screen webcam and just talk about anything, really, that's on my mind. Like, I used to love the old, good old days where, like, the mainstream YouTube content was that someone had, for example, gameplay of Call of Duty and they would just talk about random stuff. So if, like, a new game drops, I just make a video of, like, something in the background and I talk about my thoughts of it and stuff like that. Hey, Breath of the Wild. Spirit Orbs mod check? Haven't had one for a while. No! Let's go! No! No! Shit. Yeah, I used three ancient arrows. I got nothing except for pretty much a refund. Do we have other hobbies? Um, I like to go outside and touch grass. That's probably my favorite hobby right now. No, uh, I don't really do much uh, outside of content creation, honestly. Content creation takes up so much of my time that I usually don't feel that I have any mental energy to do much else. So I usually just kind of make videos or I stream or I just chill like a normal person, <laughs> I would say. Don't have any really other hobbies. Phantom helmet? Okay, that's my first attack up helmet. I take that. We take those. We definitely take those. That is not bad. This isn't stupid equipment. This is good. What are you talking about? I look great. I 
That look awesome. If you say so, damn right I say so. Yeah, the EX chests are included. Because there's a lot of EX chests in this game. Oh god! Green Rupee! Bruh! Move. Move! A blue rupee. Dude, I'm getting so scammed this run. Is bow of light randomized? No, it is randomized so that any enemy can have light arrows so they can shoot light arrows on you. But you uh, you can't just get the bow of light. Uh, thank you, at least to my knowledge. Thank you, Mello, for the 15 round three sub. This is rigged. You did this to me, Link, as me having to sub during this very special stream. I'm packing, dude. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Caleb, for the 11 month reason. Any primers in the chat? Hmm, primers? And thank you, Zarcasm, for the... For the two-year resub as well. Hey, we finally found some shock arrows at least. Yeah, thank you, Fixed Patrick, for the Prime Gaming sub. Thank you, thank you. You love the primes. I'm hungry for potatoes. Potatoes like potatoes, potatoes, or potatoes in any form? Like fries. McDonald's fries. Oh god! Go, 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 go! Holy shit! I want to see what it looks like if you get hit by one. You know what? I'm going to check. I actually haven't. You know what? Let's. I want to check it. Thank God I had that grace. Yeah, I think you get one hit with that. Yeah, it just immediately kills you.
Oh boy, that's a hot item. No! Wrong item! Stop attacking me with a leaf! The rando is working well, but I'm having some bad luck right now. I'm hoping my luck is gonna turn around. Nice leaf. Here we go, come on, good armor. Please have a good armor. Sag. Yeah, I could have picked up the Lionel shield, but whatever. Lionel shields can scam you, so you gotta be careful about them, though. Dude, Hyrule Castle has been sad. Oh my god! Good items do not exist for me. <laughs> I can't have good things. The emulator is called Simu for... Uh, Wii U. Uh, this, however, is obviously being played on the Switch Pro. I'm gonna go somewhere nowhere else is gone. I'm gonna head to... I'm gonna head to, to some areas with like a lot of chests. Wait, actually, legit question. If you were to be invited to do the training and go for free uh, on the first expedition to Mars, would you say yes or would you not want to if you were invited to go? Nodders or nopers? Surprised there are so many people that say no. P 
People don't want to sit on top of a giant rocket with enough fuel to explode in a goddamn entire city and go to another planet that is super cold, that no one else is gone, where radiation can absolutely fry you. What's there not to love about it? What's the problem speed on March? I think it would be hard to game on March considering the fact that you have... What is it? Is it a 20 minute or is it a 5 minute? The uh, input delay. It's quite a lot anyways. I don't remember the exact number, but it's quite a lot of latency. Yeah, I've seen the Martian. Yeah, Helio, on day two of OT Randomizer, the game audio was not on for the first hour. That was my bad. I had- that was my mistake. It starts after the first hour. Of the stream. Listen, people keep harassing me about the fact that I should go outside and touch grass, okay? But it would be such a nice comeback whenever someone would say that. To just be like, I can't. I'm on Mars. There's no grass here. Like, you never have to fear the danger that is touching grass if you're on Mars. There's just sand. A Mars colony would grow grass. Uh, there's probably ch people in chat that are better with me in terms of biology, but really, I don't... I feel like they would not grow grass. There would be other plants. There, surely, grass cannot be the most efficient thing to grow. Also, I can almost guarantee you the first, like, that we are so far away from being able to colonize Mars and have plants and shit, I can almost guarantee you we're just gonna have to ship all the resources for people to live on Mars for, like, a very long time before we get to a state to where people could actually, like, live there by having plants to produce oxygen. I have never seen that shield before. That's a cool shield. No, I do not know every single chest. I know a lot of them, but not every. There's like over 1,000. There's just being possible. Yeah, the whole hopes of nuking Mars's poles would just not happen because it would just require too many resources. Even if you took... I... I don't quite remember. It's been a while since I watched a documentary about this. But it, it's like... Even if we used every single nuke that we have on planet Earth, I, it still would not be enough. 
Like, that whole idea is just so not viable because the amount of power that you would need and also the issue, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, is the fact that you have to sustain it. It's, it can't just be a one-time explosion and it has to consistently be producing heat. So not only would you have to have more than the, all of the, nu uh, of the nukes on planet Earth, you would have to consistently, over a ridiculous amount of time, pop these nukes off over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, to continue to hold the heat for a long time. I can tell you firsthand, I do not ever believe that. I believe that maybe we can make like a, like, you know, a colony, quote unquote, on Mars. But if so, it'd be like the space station where we need to send resources to live there. Uh, a fully sustainable ecosystem with a breathable atmosphere, you can like live on Mars. Just like white people happy. Never happening, dude. It is more likely that we'll find another planet that's better. Like, there are other planets that would be better than that. Dude, I just, I think the game just stopped rendering a spirit orb. Spirit orbs doesn't exist anymore. Spirit orbs do not exist anymore. Spirit orbs are patched. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Bad Octo. Bro, I swear to God, they don't exist. Mod check. Patched. No, this mod is not publicly available yet. Come on! What? Bro, bro, come back. <laughs> come on, Spirit Orb! Oh my god, okay. Melon literally live patched out Spirit Orbs. I swear to god, he lied, dude. He lied about how many Spirit Orbs there are. They don't exist. They don't exist. Thank God! It has been so long since I found one. Holy shit. Oh my God. One spirit orb. I can't believe it. It happened. Patch them back. He realized I was on to him, so he patched him back in so that I wouldn't get too suspicious.
So currently I have three, four, five, six, seven hearts. I have seven hearts, chat. So, with seven hearts, that means that I need another six hearts. And I have seven spirit orbs. So we still got a long way to go. Octo, no one likes you. That's the wrong bow. Whatever. Yep. Patched. Let's go! Alright, time to hide. Come on, every single one of these double wooden chests so far has given you one spirit orb. Don't break the trend, bro. Don't break the trend. Don't do it. No! Okay, let's go to the bridge over there. Can you try the, uh, chest minigame? I'm so sorry for this question. Where's the chest minigame? At the beach village, there's a chest minigame. Like here? Okay. I have never played the chest minigame. Are you scared that the chest minigame uses it as part of the randomized logic? Let's get the shrine. There is a cursor speed fix that you can actually enable in the FPS plus plus mode. Really? That would be so nice. I keep messing that up. Is it part of advanced settings? Menu cursor fix, experimental. Enabled at 72 FPS and higher. It doesn't even apply to 60 FPS, then never mind, we're not. 
I'm not gonna use the experimental, not recommended one. Alright, which HUD is Gamba? Enable it anyways. Do it. Do it. Dude. If I crash, I'll be really mad. Alright, here we go. Alright, where is Gamba? This has gotta be it. Place your bets. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be randomized. Let's see if I can get the last one. Uh, what is the amount? Uh, I'm assuming that it's 1, 5, 10. Or 1, 5, 20. Imagine if the game does 3 chests per tier. So if I do more, then it's different items. Hundred bucks on the line. Let's go! Easy clap, boys. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's part of the randomization. Dude, we made some serious money today. No, don't add that. Oh yeah, the mouse cursor is actually normal now. Alright, there should be three or four chests here that I can get. That should be pretty easy clap to collect. All right, come on, four chests. One of them has to have a good thing. Spirit Orb! Spirit Orb! Let's go! Spirit Orb! No! Spirit Orb! No! I wonder if there's a chest out here. Yeah, I knew it. It looked, it looked sus as hell. I can smell sus from far away. Alright, I'm gonna start farming some armors around the overworld where I know that armors are located. It is time, Chad. It is time to start fi farming armors. I want to kill some Boko camps to, uh, to get some easy clap uh, chest locations, but I'm not equipped for it. So I really want to find like some attack up or armors with high... Um... Defense. I think I'm gonna do a BLSS over to uh, the central tower. I 
Uh, you can't go to Ganon unless you have the Master Sword. You get, uh, the, the... The hitbox for the cutscene trigger that would normally activate the Blight slash Calamity Ganon has been replaced with an alternate cutscene. Checking if you have the Master Sword, and if you do not have it in your inventory, then it stops you. Yeah, BLSS in 60 FPS is way faster. That's why I'm not even wiggling, because your speed is like ultra omega fast. I'm gonna go pee quickly, I'll be right back. Guys, I almost drowned. It was crazy. I was walking into the bathroom, and then as I walked into the bathroom, a bear spawned in. Melon got them spawned in a bear. I tripped on the bear. I fell head first. Woo! I would have fallen into the toilet and drowned. Thankfully, though, the lid was open, so thankfully I just knocked my head. But then, a pillow spawned in, because Mesa came in and spawned a pillow instead to try and... <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I can't I can't continue thinking of the story. It's it's too much BS. Mepha's grace is ready. I did survive, that is what's important. Slash spot no, no, not again, not again. Oh shit, oh crap, oh god. Run chat, run! Ah, <laughs> uh, chest. <clears throat> Little bit too much force, but that's fine. Come on, bro. I need some good shit. Not none of that bad shit. Good shit. Gold the Coblin. Bye. Holy! What is that aim, dude? How good is that Gold the Coblin's aim? He shot across. Like, okay. Let me just. Okay. Let me just show you guys. He. Is there here? He shot this distance, bro. What? Holy shit! Now that is a Swedish sniper right there, if I've ever seen one, and that was intentional. <laughs> Slash that Bacobum aim one million, yeah. Seems about it. I am struggling to do mid air so consistently on 60 FPS, but I will say, never getting lag stopped is very nice. All right, here we go. Time for a god tier item. Here we go, Chad. Hey! 
Hey, we take those. We take those. I, w I was hoping for an armor, but a spirit orb, I'll take that. I don't think that was the last part for the Phantom Tunic game, but you know what? We take those. How many do we have now? Ten. Okay, we're making progress. Okay. Let me think. There should be another armor right here. Yeah, let's go there. This should be Tingle. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm gonna have Ali start editing this vi video, uh, pretty much immediately. So the actual highlight video for this Breath of the Wild stream should hopefully get released either this weekend or early next week. That is my plan for this video. Uh... Should be right here. <laughs> oh, shit! Actually a good armor, but it looks like shit, so I'm not gonna wear it, because I don't look good. Now I look awesome. No, grab the open a chest. Oh, that's such a good one. I can farm so much money from the taluses with that. Oh. Linkus, are you doing good? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, Maisie. Friend of mine, cool guy. Okay, don't push it. Holy crap! I'm getting so much good luck right now! Will you play Halo with me later? Oh god, light arrow! Go, 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 go! Dude, it one hits you. I literally have to win it so hard. It one hits you. Oh my god. Uh, I'm planning to play some Halo with Paradox later, uh, but I'm sure we could play some games, sure. Tell Paradox I said hi. Yeah, I'm sorry for stealing your boyfriend, T. Which Halo game? I've been addicted to Halo Infinite since it came out. It is honestly the most fun I've had with a Halo game since Reach. I hated 4 and I hated 5. Halo Infinite has been so much fun to play. I've been grinding the crap out of it. I've been playing it every day since it, uh, since it surprise launched its multiplayer a few days ago. The... Only negative impact. The only negative thing I have to say about Halo Infinite, honestly, without like, because there's been a few th small things about its performance on some PCs, but it's in a beta, so I'm not I'm, like that's it's so minor, like that it doesn't really matter. Um, the only kind of complaint I have about Infinite is that they have a very slow progression system for the tiers. The so like when you want to upgrade your battle pass, which is like the kind of progression to unlock new armors and stuff It's very slow now everyone that's complaining that it's way too slow and it should like double and triple it I actually disagree with that. It's a free to play game instead of $60 So I actually don't mind that it is a bit more grindy than what a $60 game would be however, I just want to make I just want them to make one small tweak 
and that would be that it benefits you for winning games because right now you only get xp for completing challenges i would like it so that if you win a game you guarantee yourself to get 100 xp or something on the battle pass because i'm completely fine with the slow progression of the challenges and everything like that um but at least either during the beta or when it launches, just even just something as simple as every time you win, you get 100, 200 XP. I would like that. I'm okay with them continuing to like try make so that they put in challenges. You have to do the challenges. So it takes a long time to get, you know, the battle pass. Because also what people don't realize is this first season of the battle pass is literally a year and a half. It's like 160 days, I think, long or something like that. So it's not that bad that it takes a while to grind. They don't want people to grind it in a day, because if so, the free-to-play game meta is just ruined. Holy shit, what is this? That's cool. But yeah, just having some sort of incentive to give you perks without having, uh, just beating, like, winning a game, it would be nice. Because as of right now, if you if you play a game and you didn't actually complete any of your quests, or then literally you got nothing from the game. Even if you got 50 kills and destroyed everyone. But yeah, I'm sure they're just gonna tweak it over time. I'm not I'm not afraid of it. Believe it or not. I trust in Microsoft and Xbox now more than Nintendo when it comes to making consumer-friendly choices. Some people might completely disagree with me, but I feel like Xbox, at least right now, actually has learned from their mistakes. I think that they are fairly consumer-friendly in their recent uh, actions. Oh, dude, we're having really good luck with these spirit orbs right now. I'm loving it. But yeah, it's not like they're perfect, but they're definitely better than Nintendo and PlayStation as of right now. Because they've been the underdog for a while, so... Um, so they, they've they actually been trying to... Do some more consumer-friendly choices, which I love to see. Honestly, I'm actually curious. What's people's take on this? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, on, honest question. Do you guys prefer when it's a little bit easier... To get in less grindy to unlock gear and the game is $60 or it being free to play. But in return, because it's free to play, you have to grind more if you don't want to spend any money on it. Because for me, I like just being able to spend 60 bucks. But at the same time, I know that I'll, like there's so many games are coming out nowadays, so many. That I can see why a lot of people prefer the system of, you know, it's a bit more grindy, so it incentivizes you a bit more to, you know, maybe, you know, buy a battle pass or, you know, buy tiers. But if you want to, you can get everything for free in the game. Yeah, so Halo Infinite's multiplayer is completely free. Uh, the only thing that costs money is the campaign. So if you're someone who only cares about multiplayer, uh, you will have a free Halo experience. Shit. Oh! Damn it. <laughs> Have I been playing ranked matches on Infinite? I've been playing ranked and quick play. I haven't gotten my rank yet, though. I've been focusing a bit more on a free play over ranked because it has been so long since I played a Halo game and on a controller. And there's one thing that absolutely pisses me off. And why I haven't gone to doing ranked yet. Because I want to do controller on Halo. I need to rant. So I need to pause. Halo Infinite, if you use a controller, has analog stick acceleration. 
but you cannot disable it in any way. You can only adjust how fast the acceleration works. So because of that, you have to get used to the entire game. Like the controls are like so different from the OG games because since they force you to use acceleration, it's like you start, it's slower, and then it's faster, faster, faster. I get why it's an option. It's a great option. It's just that because you can't disable it, I literally have so much worse aim than I used to have. I still have good aim and I still play pretty well, but it's not to a point to where I want to play rank just yet. Yeah, the thing, the main thing for me is uh, I haven't really gone out of my way to complain on Twitter about this game at all, only because it's still in beta. So I'm really just hoping that some of these small things, like settings, you know, because that's really, like, that's a small fix. Can we all agree? Enabling or disabling a setting. That's such a small change. I'm just hoping it will actually be fixed for the launch because it's still beta. We still have three weeks for the launch, so... I'm expecting from the feedback that hopefully that would be changed once upon launch. Like I cannot, I, I I would be very surprised if they refuse to add that sort of a small thing. Uh, how many spirit orbs do I have? I think I'm gonna trade some of them in. 13, okay. Uh, let's go and trade them in. Um, well, I think that they have done really well when it comes to really getting a lot of feedback. Because they have now ran, I think, two or three betas, and now they're having a beta that's open for everyone. And everything you do in the beta will go into the full launch in three weeks. So it's pretty much like an almost like an early launch. So, yeah. I think they've done a good job optimizing things. I've just been really addicted to Halo recently. I've been having so much fun with it. It's been a long time since a casual game came out that I've enjoyed playing so much offline. Which makes me white people happy. Thank you, Bacon, for the Prime Gaming 16 month resub. And thank you, Trigger, for the Prime Gaming sub as well. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this, but this cutscene is also shortened compared to the original game because it'd be really tedious and slow otherwise. So it's really fast. Oh, wait, sorry, Melon. I was thinking about when you get the first heart piece. Sorry. I forgot these fairy fountains here have another an animation because you never used them in Hundo. Scratch what I said. <laughs> Anyways, some cutscenes that's been short and they're really nice. How many hearts do I have now? One, two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I need 13 more hearts. Th th uh, I need three more hearts. Let's go and actually unlock the Lost Woods. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go unlock the Lost Woods and uh, also do some of the shrines there. Because there's a chest in each one of those shrines and I should be able to do it pretty quickly. I didn't say I wasn't gonna play with you, Maisie. I said sure, we could play some games. Hello? Don't know, Wall. Wee! 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 <laughs> We. They see me flying. They hating. They see me. They see me. They see me. Cool. 
YouTube is so random sometimes. I just got su suggested your HDQ 2019 run on my homepage. Yeah, actually, speaking of which, let me see if it's still like that in the last two days. Let me open up my YouTube analytics page quickly. Speak, uh, exactly what you said. If you look at my, at my five most watched videos in the past 48 hours, it's my most recent video, then it's the Majora's Mask Randomizer, then it's Wind Waker Crowd Control, then it's Ocarina of Time 3D Randomizer, and then it's HGDQ 2019 HGDQ Run. It's at the top, it's top five. I have no idea why it is getting views right now. In the last month, that video has gotten 20,000 views. I don't know why. It's a 2019 video. But yeah, somehow this 2019 video has gotten 20,000 views because YouTube is actually recommending it. Like, can I show you this graph? Look at this graph here. This is a graph of the views over in over the last three years or whatever since I uploaded it. Do you see that graph? Like, look at that graph. Look at what you you can see when YouTube randomly started to recommend this video. Like, literally, it went fast and then it's been slowly gaining views over literally 1,000 days. And then in the past 10 days, it just... Vroom. <laughs> like, the video's over 1,000 days old. I uploaded it 1,032 days ago. I have no idea why. No idea why. That's kind of the beautiful thing about YouTube versus Twitch, though. On YouTube, you can upload a video, have it be dormant for a really long time, and then have it pop off. Lunatic J, my friend who makes really good videos on YouTube, he also has worked on lowest percent. I think his video right now is a great example of this. He uploaded a video two and a half, uh, two, about two and a half months ago saying how speedrunners beat the Brawl Ocarina of Time demo. That video got about 20,000 views and then it stayed at 20,000 views for literally two months. And then a week ago, it got picked up by the algorithm and it now has 600,000 views. It's so strange how YouTube sometimes can work. Like it would just completely hate a video and then just randomly months later, it just pops off. It's very strange. But yeah, I will say, if anyone ever wants to get into social media and they want more quote-unquote passive income, YouTube is the way to go. That's where the real stonks is. I think it's a straight left here. Yeah, you can ride bears. Nope. Free bear, just taking a walk. Free bear. Saw, dude, you're back. Let's try this again, shall we? I could have sworn it was a straight left here to get the Korok. Is it here?
There it is. Let's go! No Korok mask for you, game. Come here, bear. You got, you got this, you got this. Don't panic. No, bear, 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 bear! Oh my god, you respawn with the bear. That's awesome. You get to keep the bear. Let's go, homie. No, sadly, you cannot register bears. Jungelskog. You can do it. No, bear! Bear, please! Please, go! Yes! We're friends, Chad. No, he ran away from us. No. How do you pronounce? Oh, uh, the first word is blue, which is blue. And the next word is high. <laughs> Uh, high means shark. Blue or high. Oh, shit! I kind of wanted to get the shrine chest. But I'm too papega for this puzzle. Oh, fine, I'll do it. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four small ones. Small. Four. No, shi sh shield clips on emulator is I, I, so weird. Can't pull them off. Uh, one, two. Two medium ones. Medium two. Long one and then weird two. So it's four two two one. Shit, I need to BIL back. Okay, I don't want to solve the first part of this puzzle, so I'm going to do this. Okay, so small was four. Medium was two. Weird was two. And long was one. Wait, can it not be activated until you do the first one? Oh, come on, bro. Oh, this game is stupid. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so remember this, chat. Let's remember this, okay? Five... Five, three. Five, 
Five, three, one, two. Five, three, one, two. Five, three, one, two. Five, three, one, two. Five, three. One, two. Okay, now we do here, here, Thank you! I can't believe you can't solve the second pulse first. This better be good. I spent a long time getting this chest. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because chat keeps loving with those loves and kekta use. Because it was faster to click on the on exiting that one instead of uh, like that instead of leaving it. You have to do it as a challenge walking in there. Sheet. Yeah. What's my opinion on pineapple on pizza? Um, dance game. <laughs> Oh god! Oh yeah, I forgot to mention! Uh, choo- uh, like, choo-choos are also randomized, so uh, normally where someone could spawn that's like blue or fire or ice or whatever, or electric, it can be any one of them. So every choo-choo is completely random to another choo-choo. Pineapple and pizza is so good. No! It's really not. Giant ancient core? Bro, that's as shitty as vanilla. No, a Giga Chad does not put pineapple on his pizza. And I am a Giga Chad. A Giga Chad puts their pizza on a pineapple. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. That's a good take, my friends.
<laughs> Giga Chad smaller than his chair. Okay, listen, the chair is just really big. How many times do I have to say this? I'm not sure. The chair is big. It's an extra large model. Yeah, it's a, it's like a magnum, okay? Children's extra large. <laughs> Good one, actually. Do you know what's also really, really funny when it comes to playing an emulator that doesn't have lag? Everyone that's full on copium and says that dead angles are a thing in Breath of the Wild. It's strange how even when I go for perfect in-between angles, I don't get stopped. It's almost like if it was applied to lag, like I've been saying this whole time. It's almost like lag and speed actually is the <laughs> reason for it happening. Oh yeah, maybe. That's a good take. Maybe it's just that there is less... Maybe there's just less Cosmic Race on Emulator. True. That was Cosmic Race. That ass. I promise. I wouldn't lie to you guys. Sorry, chat. I did not want to climb up this wall. Even though that wall took so long to climb up, that was eight times speed. I don't even want to imagine how long that would take in normal speed. Alright. No, that's not cheating. That's, um... Smart life decisions. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, shit. Try that again. Oh my god, that frame perfect bounce was so hot. Grab the wall! Hello? What was that?
Thank you, Kyro, uh, uh, Kuro, for the 25 month Prime Gaming resub. Thank you, Durham, for the gift sub to NPC Wendy. I hate the name Wendy because I just think about Wendy's when I see Wendy. Don't get me wrong, I like Wendy's, by the way. It's just that I hate that I associate a name with a, with a food chain. Sorry, Wendy. Or all Wendy's in the chat. Come on, spirit orbs. Oh my god, the Hylian shield. Let's go! And an ancient bow. Oh, baby. Oh, we just got a good shield. I am so happy right now, dude. Finally a good shield. Oh, I'm so happy. Oof. Dude, we are a god gamer. I don't know why 60 FPS changes midairs. I don't know why, it's so strange. I don't know why the timing isn't consistent. Alright, let's go to the Great Plateau now and start actually fighting some uh, enemies. I have like a lot of health, I got a good amount of weapons, I'm ready to take everyone down. First try as well. Hi, Lino. Alright. It's time to show everybody who's the boss. Yeah, yeet! Boop! Attack up. This was a really easy camp. I got really lucky with this one. I know that one of the other ones have a gold enemy, so this one is actually one of the easiest ones I've seen. <laughs> Mighty Lionel Sword. I mean, kind of fitting since I just used the Lionel Sword. Alright, two free chests here that I couldn't get before because I didn't have a shield. Wait, did I get these? Oh shit, I didn't think I'd pick these up. Papega. Nice. This is not too bad of a fight. As long as there's no gold enemies, I am happy with these camps. <laughs> Stop. 
star fragment. Anyone want one? I know a lot of people look for those in their playthroughs. I don't really need star fragments, so I'm open to trade. I want to take out everyone with a bow just in case they spawn with a light arrow. With light arrows on them. Oh god. Dude! Shit. Bro. These are some shitty drops. Totally legit, totally valid. I actually have not received the gifted subs from yet uh, from Twi- I Let me just restart that sentence. I kind of shut off midway through that. I have actually not received the gifted subs from Twitch yet. You're right. Twitch actually owes me subs. Twitch themselves owes me more subs than Atriarch does at this point. Yeah, Atrox is starting to look really good in comparison now. Maybe this was Atrox's secret idea. He knew we were going to be part of that competition and win. And then it wasn't going to look so bad for his dead anymore. Is there no randomized chests here? Oh yeah, I was confused about something. Wasn't wasn't I thought Psychic was like thirteen or fourteen years old. Was is that not correct? Was he younger than that? He's fifteen. Then how did he get banned for his age? Wasn't that why he got banned? Oh, damn, that sucks. No. You have to be 13 to stream on Twitch. To my knowledge, you do not have to be 16. I only know it. I, the only reason I even know that is because of the fact that when I started to go for partner, I was not 16 at the time. And if you get part if you want to get partner below the age of 16, you have to ask your parents to sign the contract for you because legally you cannot sign the partnership agreement. Uh, before you're 16. Feel my terror. Holy shit, he's strong. Holy shit, they're strong. I'm so dead. Oh god.
No! Oh my god, invisibility frames. was that noise i don't know what a vo voice i don't know what that noise was but it for sure was manly though and that's all that matters oh does the chest not spawn here unless you have the enemy people captured strange wait i went to the bridge did i never unlock the lake tower Oh my god, I'm such a pepega. I heard someone say that it has to do with the account age. If there's 15 now and the account was made three years ago, would that be an issue? Yes and no. There isn't technically to, if I remember, there isn't technically any law. There's a law of reason why they can't have an account under the age of 13. When it comes to retroactively banning people if they're underage, it's down to the individual platform and social media. Twitter it has an automatic system. So, for example, if you had a fake age when you made your account and now you're 18, and you set it to your correct birthday, then, you know, tw Twitter immediately sees that, wait, you had an account for this many years, and now this is your age? That meant you were under 13 when you made your account. They automatically ban you. It's an automatic ban. So, yeah, a little bit of a heads up, I guess. If anyone out there wasn't 13 when they made their Twitter account, never fix your birthday. Um... I've seen people that haven't been able to get their account uh, reinstated, even though they're a big creator because they made it before 13 and then changed it. So most people have to make a new account. Um, when it comes to other social media, it depends on the social media. Some social medias do ban you retroactively, some don't. So, it really depends on which social media it is. For Twitch, I don't actually know. I haven't heard them retroactively banning people. But I don't know. When I did that, I got my account banned for 11 months. And my, tw uh, my first tweets were gone. When you finally got your account back. Damn. So if I created my account, so if I created the account with 20, then changed my age to 30, my, my account would get insta-banned? No. Let's say that you got a social media like Twitter when you were 12 years old. And you've owned that account for 10 years now and you're 22. If you were to change your age to the correct birthday so Twitter knows that you were 12 when you made it, you would have your account banned. Let's go! I'm gonna be honest, I personally think that it is a bit too rough of a rule from Twitter, and I don't think they should retroactively ban people. I, I will understand why they wouldn't allow anyone new to sign up, or if they found out that since the law was initiated, if you made an account, that's one thing, but before it was an actual law and it was only, you know, like, hey, we don't want you to make an account, but there wasn't a law in place, then yeah.
The thing about Twitter and why a lot of people see it as a ban is because even if it's only a lockout, the lockout is really long and Twitter has some of the worst support. Um, the friend I knew that got his account locked out, uh, he still didn't get it back after it been over two years since he got locked out of it. So if you really are on Twitter support, you'll probably get it back from the lock uh, from getting it locked out. But yeah, most people when they have their account locked out for that long of a time, they just make a new Twitter account. Yeah, I, I think in general for a non-content creator, it's not a big deal. Like, if you don't have a lot of followers, it doesn't really matter to have to make a new Twitter account, I guess. But yeah, Facebook did not care. Facebook? Um... I don't remember. I think I made my Facebook account when I was... I made my Facebook account when I was in 6th grade. However old you would be in 6th grade. Uh, not Twitter, Facebook account. I don't know what I said. Anyways, Twitter I made when I was 13 or 14. And then I made a Facebook account when I was in 6th grade. I think, I'll, I think that would be what, 11, 12 or something like that? I definitely made it early because I know I couldn't use my real birthday at the time when I made it. But they did not they did not care when I reset it to the right age. Hey, we got a second piece of armor for that, that's pretty poggers. Well, I don't... For anyone that was around back then, they can probably back me up. What you imagine as Facebook nowadays is not what Facebook was when I made my Facebook. When I had my ori when I made my original Facebook account, Facebook was still cool. And Facebook was not spammed and destroyed by ads or a horrible timeline or the clickbait. Facebook was a place where people went, actually hung out, actually had a good time. And they had some of the best, like, games. So many of my friends just made Facebook accounts to play f f games with their friends. So, and that's what I did most of the time. I mostly just used it for games, honestly. Uh, I never got too much into farm wheel, but I did play a good amount of it. But yeah, no, either way. Yeah, Facebook used to be good. I can't even I can't even think of the last time I logged into Facebook though, I'm gonna be honest. I would say I consistently stopped using Facebook. Around 10th grade, 9 or 10th grade. That's when I started to get tired of Facebook and it became my least used social media. So, yeah, I haven't really used Facebook in like six, seven years. I'm struggling to think of like really poggers chest locations. I'm gonna have to start actually getting slower chest locations, which kind of sucks. I think the areas where Moldogas are located have quite a lot of them. I could also do a second Divine and Beast in theory. Or a third one, sorry.
One thing that absolutely blew my mind was the fact that how we see Facebook or how we saw Facebook back a couple of years ago is how developing countries sees Facebook right now. Like I never realized how actually popular Facebook is in developing countries. Like it's still considered a cool app in many of those countries. It hasn't had the time yet for all the boomers to come in and take over. Yeah, I actually got surprised by this, but it seems like when I've talked to my normie friends, my normie friends still use Facebook, but it doesn't sound like they use Facebook for Facebook. They use it for the Messenger app. It sounds like the Messenger app is still very heavily used in Sweden. I actually, that's the only reason I've logged into Facebook in the past two years. It's whenever I need to contact one of my like normie friends that I used to talk to, I will log into Facebook and use the Messenger app. Best way to get in contact with people that aren't nerds, pretty much. Facebook was made for boomers. If you want to talk about why it was made for, no. Wasn't Facebook made to be a dating app? It was made to get to, to date because there were lonely nerds wanting girls and wanted to know if people were single or dating. That's what it was made for. And then it grew through that past that, but yeah. It was made for colleges only. Like for like even when even when uh, I actually when I got Facebook, I remember that a bit before that, my friends they got it even before me had to get the stupid edu emails because it was only for educational emails that could actually access it. No, hot or, hot or not, uh, or face match, I think is what he's called it. That was the predecessor. That wasn't Facebook. That was his. That was the website that Mark Zuckerberg made before Facebook, was it not? Why is the loading screen? Uh, sometimes if your PC is too fast, which my M.2 drive sometimes is, if the loading time is too fast, then it can glitch the HUD and keep it stay on screen. This is how real men fight Mildogas. Spears? Monen.
still isn't enough. Shit. <laughs> Guess I'm just gonna have to take the damage. Frost weapon? Five head. I didn't even think about that. It's just starting to become slow. I'm considering maybe beating another dungeon, Chad. I'm such an idiot. Of course, that's an enemy. Why did I do that? I, I know that. I know that. Why did I even go up and check? I know that. The sad thing is, I cannot get the shield clip to skip the Yiga Clan to work on emulator. I even tried to bump down the FPS to be 30 FPS. I still cannot have it work. I cannot get the shield work to skip the Yiga Clan to work on emulator. So I'll have to do the Yiga Clan legitimately, which does not make me happy. They always say it's the easiest clip. Yeah, but physics and emulator is just not the same. I actually tried that, Leno. I actually tried swapping down to 30 FPS and it still wasn't working. That's actually the first thing I tried. It still was not performing the way it should. To be fair, I didn't try and go to 30 FPS and save and quit the game, but I doubt that would make a difference. Oh yeah, you can still shield clip, it's just that the angles were different than it should have been. You know what, screw it, we're gonna, we're gonna just bonk our head in that wall and try and do it. I do not want to go through the Giga Clan. I'm packing Mun, and thank you for the Prime Gaming 4 month resub! <laughs> they still have a lot of bomb arrows. I can't believe I'm about to do this, but I'm gonna buy meat. This is such a scam, but I am so low on food. Dude, I'm making money. Not vegan? No, I can't be vegan. I love meat way too much. Is pog tasty. Uh, 
But yeah, no. Even for people, if people like feel bad about the animal part, I completely understand going vegan or vegetarian. Personally, for me, if even if I were to recommend people something, which I don't really think is my place, but even if I were, I would not even recommend people to go vegan or vegetarian. I would actually just recommend people to lower their meat consumption. I never really think that it's um. I never really see my. I never really saw, in my opinion, that the big issue is people eating meat. We've been doing it for so long as humans. I don't think that's the big issue. I think it's just that nowadays we just eat a lot of it. I think that's the main issue. Um, so yeah, if I would ever recommend people, it would just be to try and have a more balanced diet. Because nowadays most people's diet, including myself, um, you know, contains meat in every single meal, uh, pretty much. So that's probably if I were to recommend something I'd probably do that Here we go. Check this out. Shield jump. Have a small skew. Try and do the identical thing to console. Wait, it worked? I was trying this for hours the other day. Huh? Okay. All right, let's hope we get lucky on one of these four chests. Come on, video game. Give me those spirit orbs. Yes, let's go. Keep that up. Come on, one more, one more. Double. No, come on. Give me that double. Oh, let's go, dude. Oh, our luck is turning around. You love to see it, dude. Absolutely love to see that. All right, let's kill this guy. How many more do I need? If I actually decide to beat the dungeon, which I think I will, then we actually only need another three of them. Lino? I might accidentally do something here. No, because if I beat a dungeon, I get a heart container, which would make it three instead of seven. Whispers, Link is seven. There's my star employee. Listen, revenues are down this month. Please start the baiting subscript I sent you. The PDF, not the Word document. Tell me, it's only $5 a month. And if you can't afford $5 a month, then you shouldn't be on Twitch. Damn. What was that girl that said that? Oh my god, I don't remember. It's been so long since that controversy. It's $5 a month. Five dollars. <laughs> I don't remember what her name was again. <clears throat> instead of saying, hey, I can't afford five dollars to subscribe to my favorite creator. Instead, what you should be saying is, oh, I'm so unreasonable with my money that I don't th want to spend five dollars on the entertainment. Instead, I like to leech off other people. It, it was something like that. I don't remember the exact thing she said. I don't remember the exact speech, but it was just so bad. It was so absolutely bad. I think the worst part about the entire situation was that 
I think she gained more than 10,000 followers in the next few weeks and she like tripled her sub count because somehow that controversy made her blow up even more. Did Twitch play an ad? Damn. Okay, you know what? I have a theory. Amazon played an ad because they... Amazon played an ad because they realized that I was about to say something in response to people not subbing after my long speech of me memeing of people subbing, and they just couldn't have that. So they were like, you know what? We're gonna play an ad so they don't hear him clearing everything up. So the only thing they heard is him asking if they can sub. Bezos is watching, Chad. But no, on a more serious note, I don't actually think that that was a big issue like some people thought it was when it happened on Twitch originally. Because how I kind of see that is... Because it's so hard to grow on social media, if you go into it being that spoiled and entitled to think that you deserve everyone to pay five bucks a month, then you're never gonna make it as creator because the odds of you getting enough subs to think that it's worth streaming is so low, the most likely you're just gonna give up or you're gonna be a really boring creator just complaining about not making money. So I don't really think it was ever gonna turn into a big issue. No, the flag of continuing that quest is applied to that chest, so even though I got a spirit orb, it's still fine. Do you know what is the number one clip I remember the most of that entire drama, though, that stood out to me the most? I don't know why I still remember it so vividly, but it was, it was, she was sitting in her chair, right? Just literally doing just chatting. And someone in the chat was just like, all right, well, I'm going to go to work. And she goes, yo, have an amazing day at work. Go make that fat, 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 fat money. And when you come back after making that fat money, maybe you can consider subbing to me. And like the way she has like swung her voice and tried to look all flirty and stuff when she was saying it, it was just so hilarious. No, I'm gonna beat this one, and then I'm gonna get two more spirit orbs, and I'm gonna beat the game. I'm not gonna go for all four. Now then. Oh. <laughs> <Malin. laughs> 
When must the Hollow Knight Lava Challenge continue? It will soon. I need to, like, update some stuff so that actually I can, like, get through some boss fights. But no, I don't know. Some people maybe fall for that, but for me personally, if someone were to beg that hard for subs, or whenever someone has a sub-only mode on, uh, if they're not like a gigantic creator, if I join a stream and it's sub-only, I would literally just people leave. Like, I've so, I've I remember joining a stream, and then I joined, and it was like, you could only watch the stream for five minutes, and then you have to subscribe to continue watching. This is just a preview. I literally just left the stream. I wasn't going to be like, oh yeah, only five bucks for me to continue watching the stream. I'll sub. I was like, hell nah. <laughs> I clicked right off. Or when the th I think the thing that annoys me the most is if I want to go and check someone's VOD. And they have their VODs to sub only. If I want to go check out a streamer's VOD and then it gets just a big pop-up saying, hey, you have to subscribe to see this person's VOD. I have never gone, oh, I'm going to subscribe. My thought is, wow, that's shitty, and then I click off and just don't watch the VOD that I wanted to check. Okay. Whew. Some people make VOD sub only because it's less likely to get DMC strike because companies can't scam them. I am so sorry to tell you this, but you have fallen for some serious copium excuses by your friends. If you think that uh, the systems that are integrated in Twitch cannot scan for music on that sort of VOD, it is not true. And also, I can tell you as a streamer firsthand who plays copyrighted music here and there, it is easier to set up so that the OBS does not capture the copyrighted music into the VOD than it is to set up sub only. Yeah. It's the same thing, it's one button click. Literally, I press one button and the desktop audio of my music does not get put into the VOD. It's just like, even if I uploaded a copyright material music on YouTube, they will immediately notice it, even if it's a private video or unlisted. All right, let's be run through this. I don't want to be a I don't want to be a legal expert here, but um, um, I, sorry, I'm not a legal expert, but I'm pretty sure that if people that play copyrighted music tries to get around the law by making it behind a paywall, infringing on copyright, I'm pretty sure that's doing the complete opposite. If the law says you can't make money of someone else's copyrighted material, and then your solution is I'm gonna put a paywall on the material that I'm using, I'm pretty sure that it's not helping you. There are four...
U S A U S A U S A U S A Ah, uh, wait, let me double check something. get some height. There we go. How are you feeling these days, Linkus? I'm feeling okay. Thank you for asking. It's not enough height. Damn it! I'll try a midair, but midairs, like, never work, dude. Wow, that was still out? I thought because it was so far down, it wasn't gonna still be out. What? Bro, I do not want to use the last Revali's Gale. Please, let me get up. Oh! Oh my god, do not fall down, do not fall down, do not fall down. Nope. Bro. I hate how you it's impossible to gain height with BALs on emulator. This is a full height BAL. It's so annoying to get height BALs on emulator. I thought the randomizer was a mod I was gonna be so hyped. It, 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 it is. Huh? Oh, if you just joined the stream, because of how this game is designed, uh, specifically Divine and Beasts are not changed. They are stay. They are the vanilla. Um, everything else is randomized, but specifically, um, the sh uh, specific Divine and Beasts are kept normal. Wait, there's no way. Ninja seriously told, uh, like, said on Family Feud that? There's no way. It's real, not even lying. You can look it up on YouTube. Ninja Family Feud. Hold on. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought.
Oh, it's just like say something that would scare a woman on the first date. I have herpes. Okay, that makes so much more sense. I thought he literally meant like that he openly said on the show that he physically had it. Okay. I, okay. It's, it's way less bad than I thought. Way less bad than I thought. I thought he overshared way too much. Well done. Take a good but overconfident. I will say though, that's. This thing is fast. I don't know if this is just me, but I feel like that says a lot about Ninja. So that is the first thing that pops in his head and mind. Like, I'm sorry, but if I was on Family Feud and says like says something that you would that you could physically say on the first date that would you know scare the woman, I would not as a first reaction be like oh, herpes. <laughs> also, that's sad. I got the flurry rush. But I also, um, I got hit by the electrocution. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Bro! Okay, this game is glitched. The game is glitched, I swear to God. I swear to God, this game is glitched, chat. You can't flip it mid-fight, but it's the wrong way. Why is that flip the wrong way? It's not supposed to be flipped that way during the fight. What? Can I flip it before I enter the fight? I can't! And my HUD is glitched! Fine, I'll fight him on the ground! But that's gonna make my fight so much harder! This thing is fast. Watch yourself.
This next phase is gonna be a pain in the ass because I can't easily walk up the ramp because the ramp is not even open in half of the goddamn stage. Bro, why is it flipped? It's not supposed to be flipped. Or even is he? Shit. What? In your face! Whew! Easy clap. The containers are guaranteed to be vanilla because it's kind of your way. Either you choose to do full overall exploration to get 40 containers or 40 essence. Or you pay, you can beat up to four Divine Beasts because each Divine Beast guarantees your heart container, which removes four Essence, obviously. Or Spirit Orbs, I should say. Alright, if we get stupid lucky here... If we get stupid lucky here, uh, because I beat the Divine and Beast just now, I have two chests. I only need two more Spirit Orbs to be able to beat the game. So, with some good luck, we could get the... Uh, we could get the second... I'm sorry, the third and the fourth Spirit Orb, which we are missing, for a full heart from these two chests. Here we go! No. No. No! Because to beat the game, you need to pick up the Master Sword. And I'm currently missing that amount of hearts. Okay, where do I go now? Uh... Let's go here. You can legally dump your game and then play it on emulator on your PC, yes. Obviously, uh, none of us in chat are pirates, so you would never download Breath of the Wild, because that would be illegal. And we do not commit crimes here. Right, chat? Wait, this is the wrong stable. Shit. Are there any chests in here? Sweet. 
It's gotta be in here. Come on, spirit orb! Damn it! That is way too many good enemies. Die! 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 This is the one, chat. I can feel it. I can feel that this is the one. Okay, almost. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Almost. I'm not fighting those enemies. That's an annoying enemy to fight. Is there any enemies down here at the bottom of the lake? No. Let's go here. Come on, Star Fragment, I don't need you. Holy shit, that Boko Camp. I am not even getting close to that thing. Holy copium. Three golden enemies. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, technically speaking, the requirement to get the Master Sword to beat the game in the cutscene, it tells you, hey, you can't actually beat the game without getting the Master Sword would uh, be, I guess, new content, technically. Because that does not exist in the original game. There, over there is the stable I was thinking about going to. There it is. Easy clap. Come on, Spirit Orb. Yes! One more. One more. Come on. One more Spirit Orb. Come on. One more. Probably should have picked up some food in the... in the village. Dude, I am so freaking dead. I got literally nothing to eat. Shit. I'm gonna do something super cool.
Okay, I'm back to the stable. Oh, um... Dude, my game is so glitched. I don't know why, but it's really sped up, Chad. I wish I could do something about fixing it, but sadly, I just have to deal with it. Wow. So unfortunate that this tedious, slow process of collecting food is so sped up. It's very unfortunate. Oh, well. Nothing I can do about it, I guess. How is Maisie so nice? It's an act. Don't fall for it, chat. Alright, time to cook some food. Easy clap. All done on a totally valid speed as well. Nothing going on here, Chad. Come on, Spirit Orb. Damn it. Then why did he feel the need to say that it was a valid speed? Um, um, just because uh, it's a bit faster on the Switch Pro and a lot of people played it on the original Switch, you know? So I was just scared that some people would get the wrong, you know, thought that I was maybe using, you know, cheats. But, um, but yeah, no, it's just a feature of the Switch Pro. Chat, the Switch Pro is going to be released any day now, trust me. It's so close. Radiant tights. Nice. Let's put on some tight pants. Okay, they sure are tight. Come on, please be a spirit orb. I'm hungry game, please. No! Ooh, I just thought of a nice place to go to. I'm assuming there should be chests around there. 
I 3D printed myself a copy of the Switch Pro and a Nintendo is knocking on my door. I haven't been outside for days. Please help me. I got you, fam. All you gotta do is exit through the back door because they're only looking for the front door. Please, Spirit Orb. Hey, we got the Thunder Helmet! That's pretty poggers. Come on, dude! Spirit Orbs mod check. Oh my god. <laughs> This is just sad. Oops. I... Oh, chest. Found it. Come on, dude. Dude, all I want for Christmas is a little spirit orb. That's all I want, really. That's it. Doxbot said that the spirit ore will be in the closest chest. Well, let's find out. We're running t towards the closest chest right now. I see it! Let's find out. 
Was Dogspot right? Or is Dogspot scamming us? Let's go! Easy freaking clap. Oh. It has been done, Chad. It has been done. Whew. 13 hearts. Let's go get that Master Sword. Shout out to Dogspot for calling it. <laughs> Dogspot is a king. I'm gonna turn off the searcher, by the way. I'm I can't stand the peeping anymore. Chat, do we tell him? Tell him what? Yeah, you can get... Uh, oh, this helmet I'm wearing right now, that's DLC. I'm scared. Did I miscount my hearts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, I'll get 13. Oh my god, don't scare me like that, Chad. All right. No, there's a custom-made cutscene that prevent uh, that is replaced that has replaced the flag uh, for entering the Ganon fight if you don't have the Master Sword. So you have to explore to actually be able to go and beat the game. Let's go! Let's get that Master Sword! Oh god. Oh god! Oh god. Oh god. Are we gonna make this? Oh, come on, Link. Come on. You got this. Link? Oh no, I'm almost dead. Link, please! Whew. Oh, that was a close one. Couldn't you have done the mastered early glitch? Sure. You can also... <laughs> Go out of bounds and go to Ganon and a link to the past rando, or bomb puffer over to Hyrule Castle and an Ocarina of Time one, or barrier skip Wind Waker. You can do bar you can do skips on all of them, but it defeats the purpose of rando, so no one does it. If you're gonna do it, then just <laughs> we're not gonna play the rando. You could also not play the game. True, I like to not play my video games, but instead watch people play them. Poggers. All right, let's go. We did it, Chad. We did it. We got the Master Sword. We can finally beat the game. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but I'm going to say that. <laughs> Chosen one. Yeah, what's up? The hero called Link. That's me. The time has come. You're now ready to test the limits of your courage? At the place where you reunited with the Master Sword? The sacred, for the, the sacred forest? Yeah, no thanks. Go there and head to the Great Deacon Tree's words. Do so and a glorious trial will bestow upon you. Yeah, no thank you. Thanks for the invite, though. Appreciate it. I'm gonna have to decline your request, though. Oh, 
Oh, if you jump an emulator, it gets a straight angle? Interesting. I have no idea, anime paladin. It's the trial of the sword randomized. Don't tell me, Melon. Actually, I want to go. T I want to go see. Screw it. I'm gonna go check. I actually don't know. T don't tell me, Melon. I want to go see. I actually don't know. I don't think we actually thought about if anyone. I don't think anyone would want to do that for a rando. So I'll go check. But I highly doubt. Highly doubt it. Cute. Alright, let's actually check. I'm curious now. Is Trial of the Sword randomized? It is not. Sorry, chat. But I still think it's worth a trip in because, hey, at least we got to see Link naked. I'm assuming, though, that it is possible. I actually asked that originally right when the development of the randomizer started originally. And I remember him telling me that no, because it's like a shrine. And back then, shrines were not randomized, but now they are. So I think in theory it would be possible, but... There's just rest really hasn't been a big reason for it. Whee! All right, here we go. Now we should be able to enter the Ganon fight without getting the special customized cutscene. Yes, we can. I'm just gonna tank him. I should have swapped out some of my hearts for stamina, now when I'm thinking about it, but it's a bit too late now. What? How did that not deal any damage? Weird champ. Here we go! Let's do it, boys! 
Let's freaking go. It would have been funny if the giant weapon in his hand would be randomized, but I'm pretty sure that's part of his model. But that would have been hilarious. All right, I'm gonna absolutely just destroy this guy. I'm so bad. Oh no. No! I'm so good. Come on, that was too late. So bad. So bad. What? How is he shooting above my head? His laser is literally missing me. Why is he shooting above me? It's not even hitting me. Thank you. Ganon, please. Oh my god, Ganon, come back down! Alright, let's check my DMs. All right, sounds good, Bella. Chat, where did this horse come from? Hi, random horse! I miss the bear. Same. Thank you, Liz the Wizard, by the way, for the 14 month resub, and thank you, Feltman, for the 11 months. Ugh, don't stomp on me.
No, we're not gonna 360 no scope. I'm attached to a cable. <laughs> not good. That would not go well. And time! There it is! 5 hours, 44 minutes, and 42 seconds! There it is! Drake's in the chat! We did it, chat! We did it!